<laughs> All right, we should break. Yeah, got to eat. Even though Rich Voss is scheduled for eight, he's already peeking in. Oh, there Jesus. he is. Jesus. How needy are you? Uh, go, go have breakfast. Here's the king. We got this. We got this for a little while. Uh, Relax. Wow, he's a tan motherfucker, huh? He plays a lot of golf. We got to talk about uh, Robert Blake on uh, Piers Morgan. Yes. Uh, that's what Twitter was alight with the uh, stories shit. about that, huh? What a nut he is. You see what he was wearing? What was that about? I didn't see. You you didn't see what he no, was wearing? I heard some clips, but I didn't see. He was wearing a weird hat. Was he? Uh, like a like leather, Loretta? leather vest. He is a, one of the weirdest uh, motherfuckers in Hollywood. And he got away with something. Murder. <laughs> well, some would say. Look. Some in, would say. In my personal, <laughs> humble opinion. Holy fuck. Wow. Did that motherfucker get away with murder? Think he uh, skated? <laughs> hey. Look what he was wearing. <laughs> wow, he looks like Jesus. He's ripped, though. How old is he? <laughs> He's got to be in his 70s, right? He's ripped for a 70-something year he old. He is. You wouldn't fuck with that. Oh, he must, like, fucking just work out and talk to himself. You think? Yeah. He's mm. a crazy, Yeah, it's a good. weird guy. We got some good clips we'll play after the break, that's for sure. What else is going on? Robert Blake, wow. Um, oh, all right. Yeah, Rich Voss is joining the program, and I guess Bonnie blew him on, on their latest podcast or something. I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it, but I, I hear it sounds very authentic. I oh, got, you got it? I got a clip Great. right here. Oh, so that. We'll ask uh, Rich about that. Ah, uh, here's the king. And, uh, yeah, and we'll do all the things. All right. Let's have some fun. He's sort of crooked. Just touch here and there. Give it a good rap like that. It's not as much fun to beat and bang on the other. It's too small. So touch it. Give it a little pull. Caress it very gently. Pull it. Just pull it. Okay. Just tap it firmly. Make love to it. Shoot, you work so hard to put it in there. And I'm just using little rocking strokes here. Don't tell anybody. I don't beat it. I just wipe it on a paper towel. New from Grody Publishing comes the audiobook. So erotic, it will make you question everything. Damn, that's a good book on tape. The best-selling cultural phenomenon evolves just for men. It's Fifty Shades of Gay. The muscles inside the deepest, darkest part of me clench in the most delicious fashion. Club Soda Kenny takes you on a journey you've only been to in your deepest fantasies. Suck me, baby. Millions of red-blooded men have gotten rigid over the excitement of Fifty Shades of Gay. Bro, I've tasted my cum. After hearing Fifty Shades of Gay, I would totally be down for tasting someone else's. Or whatever. I'm a quivering, moist mess, and he hasn't even touched me. I've always been a guy that's, like, totally into chicks with tits and stuff like that. But you know what? This book is freaking hot as shit. Holy fuck, this is wrong, but holy hell is it erotic. For the first time, I'm sexually attracted to something that isn't available at the deli counter. My insides practically contort with potent, needy, liquid desire. Ooh, I don't fuck guys, man. But I'll jack off to this, man. Damn. The experts agree 50 Shades of Gay is a must listen. Hello, I'm Dr. Gay. This audiobook is a must listen for any man looking to further a healthy sex life. I'm erect. 50 Shades of Gay. If you're not turned on now, you will be. Yum. Mm, are you looking for some hard, hot action? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have a big one, Heather. Oh, let me swallow that fucking dick down my throat. I'm going to put it in you. Oh, and yeah. just give it to you until you're dead. Are you looking to get turned on like a light bulb? Oh, my pussy is so wet. It's dripping now. I want you to be so wet that it looks like a lake down there. Oh. The Ted Sheckler Verbal Intercourse Emporium will connect you one-on-one -on -one for a private party with the man himself. I'm going to spank you, madam. You've been very bad. You killed an old lady with a hammer, and I'm going to spank you. Oh, Stinking hard. 
It's the wildest all live action with one hot developmentally disabled entrepreneur with a mustache. I'm going to lick the little man on the boat until my tongue is chapped and dry and smell. Oh, fuck. Oh, my clit's so swollen. I'm going to come soon. That's right, madam. I'm going to make you come so hard that people are like, hey, there's Niagara Falls in that lady's underpants. You're in for one mediocre time. Yeah, I'm going to come on your face. I'll squeeze my ass. I want you to come so hard that your cancer wing falls off. Oh, Rub it. Oh Rub it quicker. Oh Rub it so fast that people oh think it's lightning. Just sit oh. back, relax, and whip it out. Until you're coming like nobody's business. It's the Ted Sheckler Verbal Intercourse Emporium. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Like> rich. <laughs> rich process. <laughs> Join the show. <laughs> See, when Rich starts his appearance by talking about microsurgery, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and putting oh, this boy. finger over here. Oh, boy. Well, the funny thing is, you know, uh, we've we've told our childhood stories many times on this radio show. Yes. But I think me and Ann, we didn't even discuss it ahead of time. We, we chose to to tell it uh, this time, tell these stories with an innocence, like our childhood innocence. Right. So with the guy calling saying he found a dead kid in the freezer, and then Rich comes in here, yeah, my friend fucking cut all his fingers off. Cut his off. fingers off on a radio alarm saw. <laughs> and he had to be helicoptered with his fingers in an ice yeah. bag, and he they micro, <laughs> they, they put this finger, what? They mixed his fingers up. Like, Why would they mix his fingers because up? Because the way they were cut. They couldn't put him back. They were too severed to put him back where they're supposed to go. But wouldn't that but be they, the the logical way to do it? If it was cut this way, then you could put it back that way. Listen, I'm not a microsurgeon. <laughs> no, I'm barely a comic. Okay, <laughs> so all I know is he's not laying there arguing. Hey, just get these fingers back. I mean, yeah. he looks. It it almost looks like. Have you seen him since? Oh yeah, yeah. I've, and they have. Has, does he have all the fingers or are they? No, he he has. He misses. Like one and a half, and a couple of them on the wrong <laughs> finger. It's, it's I think, bending I think the they, wrong way. I yeah, think they yeah. fucking took a toe and put it on. Oh, this, no, uh, but they did. They just. I think I'd rather have no fingers. It's just all than the no, fingers in the different. His hand works. His yeah, hand but works. to have this finger over here, like how much of the fingers were gone? How many knuckles? It, well, it, on the saw, he cut it down on, on an, an angle. angle. <laughs> okay, it was a good angle if oh. you're doing molding. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> how the you fuck know? did he do that? What did he, mold, how did he have his hand mold. on the fucking... How? Yeah. Uh, like... Let's say alcohol. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Look, at most woodshop teachers you look at oh, are missing one or two Yeah, things. they, they you really know, are, yeah. They, that's, that's their lives. That's you why they're woodshop teachers. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. but he was like kind of in shock. and But he put that... That, that burden on this little black kid, go get me a bag of ice, and you see all these fingers on the floor, and now he has to... Were you there? The... No, oh. no, because I would have fucking laughed at him. <laughs> <laughs> I start kicking kinda... the fingers around. He's the same guy when we were smoking crack. Oh, he... okay. I'm so glad we went from childhood yes, yes, to yes. Oh, I'll, smoking I'll crack stories. Stuff. No, it's cool. This is a good crack story. We weird. were in uh, Harlem, and we just, of course bought, we just bought crack, me and him, yeah. and he's... Uh, uh, in the passengers, and he took a hit that was so big. I mean, and he just f opened the car door and fell out on the ground. I go, he's like my best friend. I go, he's fucking dead. I go, I'm going to have three extra vials. <laughs> <laughs> fucking addict. And then he, he started breathing, and I went, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that you were a good fucking crackhead. Hey, listen, you know you gotta, you gotta you look, look out for number day, one. You, hey, you had a good hit. Sorry, your yeah, run's yeah. done. Yeah. I, wow. It doesn't, it doesn't mean. Damn it. <laughs> hey, uh, did you see Robert Blake on Piers Morgan? Yes, I did. You did? Yeah, yeah. I watched what it on, a the, on the internet. Yeah. Well, and, we got clips. And if, I, if I first of all, that old relic is threatening somebody. What, Was he? Look, yeah. yeah. Hey, you don't call me a liar. Yeah, really. What are you gonna do, old man? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. You're a liar. You, you killed her. You didn't. You didn't see his arms. What? You wouldn't fuck with that guy. Oh. He has that old man strength. <laughs> That could Old be true. Man strength. Yeah, like the guy on Boardwalk Empire uh, when he picked up the statue. I don't. I, I haven't seen Boardwalk. Oh, okay. I, know, I gotta see that. I gotta see that. Sorry. You don't watch that? I have. I. Oh, you have a kid too. <laughs> yeah. I can't use that Damn excuse it. to Rich Not with Rich. Yeah, I, I, my uh, my TV watching is way down. No, do like way we, the fuck down. We keep our daughter up till like twelve thirty one. This way she doesn't get up what? early and fuck up our schedule. Oh, fuck up your schedule. Good thing. 
It's, no, it's kind of smart. Is it? Yeah. 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 yeah, we don't want some kid up at 6 yeah, o'clock I, running around. I have my kid walking around our house like a zombie sometimes. <laughs> it's, if I keep him up for an extra hour, that means an extra hour the next day that he'll you know, sleep in. Yeah, it's just, you know, she watches shows uh, with us. She watched, you know, yeah. she's a big fan of uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, uh, good. Oh, yeah, that's good with all the sex. It's a nice kid show. <laughs> sex, go, violence. Good for you. Sure. What do you now teaches she, them young. Now I taught her when she goes to the bathroom, she says, I got to go to the shitter. <laughs> By the way, his kid hangs out with my kids. So yeah. Guess what's, oh, guess what's stopping yeah, immediately? That's nice. She, the other guess day, what's she stopping immediately? Pulling tape out and it kept getting stuck. And now you're here in the other room. She goes, this tape is shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why we laugh. It's hilarious. You got to laugh. How kids cursing, laugh? Are, it's fucking hilarious. You have to laugh. So fucking funny. Yeah. There was a kid. We were pulling into the driveway yesterday, and there was this black Indian kid, and and her other friend was an out. So Bonnie goes, "Would you play with him?" And she goes, "No way!" And we thought because of racism. Oh, see. And, and she, and we go, "Why?" She goes, "He's younger than me." I go, "Wrong answer." <laughs> <laughs> See, your hard racism <laughs> thinks one thing, and the kid, you know, yeah. just like, hey, it's fucking young. I'm too young. I can't play kid. with a kid like that. Your kid yeah. plays with my young kid. Yeah, she likes your kid. She's she's got a year or two on him. How old's your kid? She's gonna be five uh, in this month. Five already. Yeah, she's gonna be five. <laughs> she's uh. You know it's your kid by now, right? I I don't know. It's I so obvious it. when you see this kid. It's you Rich think Voss's that kid, kid looks like me? That yes. Kid like it. I think you crazy? that kid looks like. <laughs> think that I think the, I think your kid looks more. No one cares about this. But you got a picture. Yeah. Your kid looks Can't more tell. like you than Bonnie. You're you're the only one who's ever said that. You have to be the father. Oh, <laughs> psychology. You are the father. <laughs> you are the father. <laughs> your kid, like you look at your kid, you know for a fact that everyone says uh, my kid looks a lot like me. I don't see that. They, oh, your kid. I don't see it. Is, is I, a I think it uh, perfect little. I think he looks a lot. Like my wife. Aryan youth. Yes. Or my Aryan. wife's side of the family. I don't know. I just, whatever. I, I'm starting to love my kid, you know. Starting to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. on, Rich. I got a great story, but oh. I don't want to jump in like I'm just here throwing shit out. Let You're me go here, with the flow. Go ahead. Oh, Talk. look, you know how to podcast. See, it's easy, oh, right? Hold on. Friends. One hour a week. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> like, Try 20 hours a week. Then yeah. come talk to us. Try doing it for free. Oh, well, okay. Well, that's <laughs> pretty much what we're doing. At this point. I got to show you. This is what scumbags. I hope somebody. Did you bring a bid in? No, no. This is not, <laughs> this is the proof. Yeah, I brought a bid in. Yeah, I'm fucking Brian Regan. Uh, the old donuts. No. <laughs> Although he's one of my favorites. He's, he's well prepared. We like to say. Yeah, okay, he's one of he's, my favorites. He's well I'm not prepared. trashing him by any sense. He I'm, sells out theaters, and I'm trying to fill Uncle Vinny's this weekend. Uh, well, that's a tax form. No, you got to see. This is what scumbags. The, the traffic. Uh, what are they, the, you know, the meter people, the traffic people? Oh, yeah, 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 those fucking okay, scumbags. Me, I hope somebody's listening that can straighten this up. I'm not fucking oh, around. What happened? Bonnie. Okay, follow us. Bonnie pulls up on Broadway. Mm hmm. She's right by the Mooney meter, Muni meter, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> the <laughs> Mooney meter. <laughs> yeah, Hi, it's, it's the Mooney meter. <laughs> Hi, put some money in the Mooney meter. <laughs> hey, cracker, put some money yeah. in this. No. Right, you I fucking guess, queen. <laughs> the Muni meter. <laughs> what's it, Muni meter? Or? Yeah, yeah. It's okay, called Muni, Muni I guess. Yeah. The Muni meter. Yeah. She pulls up in front of the Muni meter. The kid's in the car. She gets out to, to buy the ticket and put it in there. Mm -hmm. So one of these guys come over, the traffic fuckers, and starts to write her ticket, and she goes, whoa, whoa, I'm doing this right now. How else can I do this but get out of the car yes. to do it? I'm so oh. fucking glad you're bringing this up, but because wait, it, it's another Holy New York City shit, fucking scam. What a scam. Oh, Hold on, because I, I, I understand, but let me, I'm, I'm going to paint the picture for the people. Okay. Oh. So they got rid of all the, the meters. Yeah. So you have to go to one machine, the Muni meter thing, to Might be down the street to spit out the fucking ticket. Thank you. you. People need to know this. It's way down the street, and they do that out on purpose so these fucking assholes could come around and and write tickets before you get back to your fucking car. Okay, they're not close to your car, and in even, some cases they're a, a solid city block away. Yeah. But this case, she got a spot right by it. That's wow, even, that's even more wow. fucked up. So she gets out of the car to go get the ticket. He comes up. Get ready to write a ticket. She goes, what are you doing? I'm, 
I'm paying. I got a kid in the car. What am I? He goes, okay, don't worry about it. I'll let you slide. So she goes on her business, puts the receipt in there. He goes, well, two months later, I get a fucking notice from a Department of Motor Vehicle, late payment, okay? He wrote her the ticket and never gave her a copy. Oh, he boy. wrote her For a, real? So I got it right here. Right. I got it right here. That we never got the ticket. Well, how do you got a copy right here? If, I got a copy of never the late ticket. Send it in the mail. No, yeah. no, I got a copy of the I'm late ticket it. payment. Right. Okay. He wrote her a ticket. See, the reason he didn't give it to her because she would have had the receipt as proof because there's a five minute window. Right. Okay. So he wrote the ticket, just kept it, and then turned in his Motherfucker. side. Motherfucker. So we get a thing going. Late payment. Because now going, you don't have the, the ticket. Now right. you didn't go, save the fucking. No, we didn't save the ticket. Not only no. that, we didn't save the receipt. Right, exactly. Okay? Because if, if we would have saw him giving us a ticket with the receipt, you Save go, the receipt. Well, she didn't think she was getting no, the I, ticket. No, I'm yeah. saying. I'm just saying. I'm so agreeing. So this scumbag. Yes. <laughs> and, and you know what? I made a complaint. Nothing happens. Yeah, it, it's just, you, you know what well it is? You can't fight City Hall. No, but, <laughs> it, it's, but, but this. They don't this, give a care. <laughs> but this guy, why is this guy still working for, for you know, because. Because he's raking in money for the city. <laughs> he's probably one of their best fucking why is he workers. Working? Exactly. Yeah. You don't understand this shit. It's a yet? scam, yeah. and and it's, it's uh, being perpetrated on us by the, the New York City government. Yeah, it's but I can it's see a complete if scam. The law, but if they don't give a fuck, man, their whole paycheck is based on how many tickets they uh, write yeah, a day. They fuckers. get bonuses. Well, if, you, if you're listening, to and they me, know that they could hand in these tickets, and it's going to be his word against yours. You're going to lose almost every time. Almost every time. What up, prick? He never gave gave the ticket. I swear to God, if I ever run into him, wait. Uh, so what's the law? Fight it? What's the law? So paid, he's no, he's writing a ticket. She's saying I'm getting a you know my parking uh, ticket or whatever. So what's the what's the no, actual no, law? The law is he said I won't write you the ticket. But he already wrote it. He wrote it, but he didn't let her know and give her a copy. Okay, if he would have wrote the ticket and gave her a copy, she would have taken the receipt. And sent a copy to receive because you have a five minute window. So now wait, you got a five minute window. So if, if he wrote the ticket at ten a.m. and your uh, receipt says ten oh five, you're okay. Yes. So if you see somebody writing you a ticket, why not just run to the muni meter and get a fucking ticket? Like if if you see yeah. a guy writing you a ticket and you're like, fuck, I just parked yeah. there for two seconds. Yeah. Grab a muni meter Look, thing. Yes. And well, now you you'll should. be able to fight. Yeah. Because oh, you okay. have a five minute window. Right. I, I don't think that's true. I yeah, don't either. Put, I, I would bet money on that. I guarantee there's a five. I would bet money. I don't think so. I don't How think so either. I've never heard of that. I don't think so. They're not going to make it that easy for you. Yeah. yeah no they, way. That does sound like no a fucking way. convenience. Yeah. An another time, this guy had a ticket on his car, and he saw me pulling away. Yeah. So, there you go. He saw me pulling away. He goes, can I have your ticket? So I gave him my ticket, because this way he has, he, he could say, well, they didn't see it. He has, you know, because he was right across the street. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. gave him my ticket. Which saved him. Maybe it's coming back to me. Yeah, it's probably. That's what happens. It's karma. It's a complete with. scam that brings in a lot of money for New York City. So they're not going to listen to us at all. Well, but don't. I, I have a, I have a video that I did of um, a delivery truck. I think it was Coca Cola right outside our building. So it was around 10 a.m. And I saw them getting written up for parking illegally. But they already had. I, I'm trying to remember like two other parking tickets in the in the window. Mm-hmm. So I talked to the guys, and like, oh, this is our eighth of the day. I'm like, when did you start working? He goes, oh, two hours ago. They just collect them all day. Cost of doing business. That's, that what the, that's what the city says. But how are they supposed to deliver their shit? Yeah, it's fucking... I know. You know what it They're is? supposed to find legal parking somewhere, and then... Then haul their soda or whatever the fuck they're delivering to to the place of business. Well, UPS, That's crazy. FedEx, they, get, they they have in their budget how many yeah. tickets they're going to get. Yep. But it only raises the price. Okay, so their company it's, doesn't. It's my passed point, on to the consumer. My point is, it's the biggest fucking scam going, and yeah. no one talks about it. It's uh, I do. I'm bringing it down the open. I I would. Oh, yeah. And and then we get the other side sometimes, and people go, "Well, these trucks they block the fucking road." All right. In that, that case. Write him a ticket. In a lot of cases, that's not what is yeah, happening. If they're not blocking the fucking road, yeah. Uh, and now, also, these motherfuckers, they don't have to sit there and write anything. They go up to your registration in that your windshield and go, bleep, they scan it, and that's all they got to do. All oh, the information's really? there. Yeah. That's why it's not like they, it takes them long to write. They could just sit there and go, bleep, bleep, you know bleep, rip it out, fucking pop it in your windshield. And you know why that's, they do that? You know why that started? Fake mm. license plate. Because these meter maids, I call them meter maids still. They're yeah. illiterate. The, the, well, probably that, yeah. but also 
the fear of being punched in the face as you're <laughs> writing that long ticket as someone is uh, pleading their case. Yeah. I'm sure there's been a lot of issues. Mm. Would probably make a lot of these guys go, you know what, I can't write this ticket. The guy is is on his way already. So they want to make it as scanned. quick as possible. Once it's scanned, they can't do anything about it. it like, right. Even if they it goes wanted, right into the system. when they were writing it down, yeah. even if you had the greatest excuse and they decided not to give you the ticket, they could do that. Which just void happens, out the ticket the way, or whatever. Yeah. But uh, now once they hit that scan thing, it's, uh, it's done. It's, it's in their system. Done. My yeah. chick yeah. got a parking Fuck. ticket in uh, the Long Island Railroad uh, parking lot oh, yeah. because she didn't pull into her spot head in. It, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it's head in only, and she didn't do it. It was a $100 ticket. And, wow. Sorry, $105. Well, the $5 surcharge? Head in. Sir, yeah. What is that about? I don't, you're not, allowed, so they to, could, so they you're not could, allowed to back into your parking so spot. So they could tow your car easier? <laughs> no, uh, I, I, it would make it more well, difficult. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I so why no is idea. it? Then? I don't know. It's, it's just just because they want to get you at every turn. Nassau County. Just tax. to give one more opportunity for you to fuck up, <laughs> right. so they could uh, soak you. Well, there's probably bushes so, behind where you pull in, and they don't want the exhaust. That's what they say at my townhouse. That's all bullshit, At my townhouse, though. you're not allowed to back in. What do they say at your townhouse? Don't burn it down? They say, <laughs> they say don't park your car on your balcony. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Rich Foss has an update. I know because we hang out a little bit. He's back in his old house. Oh. oh yes, I am. I'm and and are your neighbors very unhappy about that? Uh, they're not there. Some are renting their place. Oh, the other man. one. I don't know. I mean, if if the people don't know, because we do get uh, new listeners all the time, and then we also get people to say, oh, "Fuck you guys," but it bounces <laughs> out in the end. I think uh, you burnt down your condo, and now you're finally back in there. <laughs> we didn't burn it down. It burnt down. <laughs> no, I think you guys burned it down. I, I couldn't have. I was three thousand miles away. True. So good alibi. So, yeah. Huh? You have a good alibi. Yeah, it's good. weird. You can't be better. I was across Great the alibi. country. But do you know how suspicious that is too to the two uh, detectives? What I was Having booked. that really good alibi makes people go, wait the fuck. A little too good. Wait, wait. That's a long fuse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you might have been able to set some things up before you yep. left. That's what a detective would say. Uh, uh, one of the detectives said, this is no lie. He said, <laughs> well, because we had a dry plant on the balcony. He said, well, there was a meteor shower. I go, if you... <laughs> Don't want to be riddle killed uh, or ever want riddle killed. Riddle killed. I go riddle. Ah, ah, or, could you or, add that and the and the moonies and the moony mo meter and riddle killed. <laughs> oh, wait, how do you spell riddle? Riddle. All right, R I D D L E. Oh, and then you go with the riddle killed. Killed. C. All right. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that list is great. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I go if you if you want to say face, don't ever go back to the fucking precinct and say I think it started from a meteor. A shower. meteor shower. He's trying a to help bit. you out, though. Huh? So. He was trying to help you out. Uh, Could have just been some fucking floating bit of fiery ember. I, these all you know what I notice. All kids that walk around the apartment are hanging and they flick it. They, they're dirty. They litter. And yeah, see, someone flicked a fucking done cigarette. Done flick their cigarette up there up and. There. Uh, Start a like fire. That. All right, listen. Yep. We've done the ticket uh, bit on our show many times, but this is a very unique phone call, and then we can move oh. on. Rob in Brooklyn. Go ahead, Rob. How you doing? So I'm, I'm a fuel director, and uh, I was in the city uh, for radio my show. body. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. All right. Thanks for Rob Bennington. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so uh, I'm pulling a body from Manhattan, and uh, there's no spot. So I'm in a removal vehicle. I have a plaque that says I'm a licensed funeral director pulling a body. I pull the stretcher out because I had a double park in front of this apartment building. And when I come out with the body, a guy is writing me up a ticket, telling me that I had to find a legal spot. Now, when I went to court to fight this, the judge said I should have found the legal spot. And when I said I should have brought the body around the corner through the city to find a spot, I said, what the fuck is that all about? That, that's the rule. Sorry. Yeah, technically it's the rule, you know, yeah, and that's yeah. how the city sets it up. But I mean, come on, don't you? That's, guys, that's ridiculous. Don't you? Or rid riddle riddle killed. Riddle riddle ridiculous. Riddle liquid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even it's figure it out. Because because funeral directors, a, a, a fucking dentist gets a special place to park anywhere for an emergency for a fucking root canal. But a, but a, a fuel director doesn't have a special plaque that's accepted by the city. Yeah, it's so can park illegally. It's so a, what do you bang out that yeah. embalming? So what's the big <laughs> rush to get the body anywhere anyhow? Well, what was that? 
<laughs> He's not in a rush. I go, what's the rush to get the body? I think it's more about horrifying everybody. Oh, you mean walking with a dead body? <laughs> right. <I'm> like, <laughs> to your legally parked fucking hearse. Like weekend at Bernie's, <laughs> right. you're just fucking <laughs> carting them around. <laughs> And you don't have a, you know, cler clergymen get special, uh, they get park anyway, and you can get online. You get, Online, you can become uh, <laughs> a clergy. Man. Yeah, a clergy. I'm a rabbi. What am I, what am I, a rabbi? Oh, I'm a oh shit. I, I, Always goes to anti-Semitism. Anti a clergyman is not a, only a rabbi, it's, mm. you know. Um, um, all yeah, right, yeah. Rob, in yeah, Brooklyn, sure. thank you. Nah, the city just tries to screw you. As soon as you wake up in the morning, they're trying to get money out of your fucking pocket. Yep. Yeah, but do it legally at least. I mean, if you're going to give tickets. Oh, it's all legal. No, Technically, it's, not. it's all legal. It yeah. wasn't legal what he did. True. And then they get away with some shit. You know, too. so be, if you're going to do it, be legal. Okay, just, I broke the law. I, I deserve to pay. There's a great episode of uh, Louis. I don't know if it aired yet because we got to see the first five episodes of, of uh, the parking signs in New York City where you can't even yeah. fucking read them. And they uh -huh. do that on purpose so they can write more tickets. Uh, it used to be a couple feet be, uh, uh, away from hydrants. They have made that. I think it's almost twenty feet now. It's a huge fucking distance that makes no sense it, whatsoever. And, and well, it, what it is is they it takes away more legal parking, mm -hmm. which forces you in desperation to maybe squeeze into a spot that's not legal, so they legal. can write you up for tickets. It's all about writing tickets. In Brooklyn, when I was living in Brooklyn, I used to park uh, in front of my building, and sometimes, I swear to you, just the bumper of my vehicle was a little further. Um, Toward the corner, how many inches? That it was supposed What'd to you be, say? Yeah. dude. The bumper itself, so six four inches, inches, four to six four inches. inches. Gotcha. And, and and they had the crosswalk, uh, where right. where the little ramp would go down off the sidewalk for the right. handicap thing. And if you're even six inches near that. They wrote, yeah, but it's like, please, realistically, I'm not blocking anybody. But, that happened to but me. But hold on. The point being, that parking spot yeah. is just too short, and they do that on purpose. Right. So you go, oh, who the fuck would give me a ticket for being yep. you know, six inches over? Obviously, it's a space. Nah. That, that happened to me in New York. The bolt of my license plate was <laughs> the, hanging. The head of the bolt are you kidding? was hanging <laughs> over there. <laughs> I don't know if you're kidding because these guys are assholes. It's funny, Rich. <laughs> Rich is a big golf yeah. guy, and I. it just reminded me. I, not uh, big. I was hanging out with some people up in um, Sodus Bay, Sodus Point in Rochester, beautiful area. Uh -huh. And um, this, uh, we were talking about golf a little bit, and... Um, the people are hanging out with, they know a guy that's, uh, he's a big scumbag. And his scam was, and it made me fucking howl, he would pull up to golf courses. And you know how everyone leaves their golf clubs out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, in front of the like uh, the clubhouse? Yeah. He'd pull up and just fucking take golf bags. Yeah, I knew. What? <laughs> yeah. I knew. Sorry, I'm laughing through it. He would pull up, the, like the biggest scumbag. In a really nice car, so no one would even question it. Oh, Make him believe man. he's picking up his golf clubs. And he would throw them in his car. He would throw the nicest pair he could find in his What a prick, because you assume, you know, no one's going to fuck with your shit. No, no, you would assume no one would right. ask you, are those your clubs? Wow. What a scam. I knew two heroin addicts that... When, that did that I, shit? Yeah, when we were... Uh, uh, and his, Who was his the other was one? He's dead. <laughs> he was, he's dead. They would pull up to uh, Plainfield Country Club. Wow. Which, and they were, you know, all of a sudden, they're coming over to my house. They go, you want these clubs? They're like fucking Wilson staff. Back then, that's what you... Yeah, those I, go, nice I don't want I'm not buying them because... Yeah, yeah. You can go to jail for buying them, more or less stealing them. But yeah, that's a fucking... What a great scam. Wow, that's fucked to, up. When I was doing... I probably, I've told this story, but when I was doing uh, coke and crack and stuff, uh, I would go to garage sales and buy, like, the oldest rusty clubs that were, like, $5. I'd buy a bag... And then I'd go to a drug dealer and go, look, you know, I'll leave you my golf clubs as collateral. I, I, ha <laughs> I, ha I go, I go, I have to, you know, I got to play golf. I go, that's all. I go, Holy I go, that's all I got. Jesus, my, as collateral, and I'll be back, you know, Monday or after and of I get course, paid. Fuck that. <laughs> and they never see uh, me again. They get shitty uh, clubs that cost less than the drugs would have cost. Costs five or ten dollars. That's for fucking them. great. Yeah, Are you brilliant. worried that um, someone you owe money to is going to run into you someday? I know it's been on many, many years but were you Probably paranoid dead. about that for a while no, because they they were older so they got to be really old either dead they, yeah, or yeah, in yeah. jail yeah i mean i know it I, sounds like you ripped off a few people when you were yeah, going P, i got shit. ripped off too you know 
Uh, well, that makes just, it all better. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I only owe one guy money, this guy Frank. Uh, I don't want to say his last name. I think I owe him 700 But here's the thing. Once they put it in your hand, come on. You know, you're it's part of the game. It's, it's, you know? the game. You it's part know? of the game. You're, you're constantly trying to fuck each oh, other really? over. As they're holding it out, out a window by your ankles, just say, hey, it's part of the game. The drug one dealer wants to get your money without giving up his drugs. You want his drugs without giving him the money. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what everyone's goal is here. And you try to meet in the middle somewhere where you're actually getting the drugs for the money. But sometimes it goes one way or the other a little bit more. One guy I owe money to came to my house, sent guys, cleared all my furniture and took my Corvier convertible. Just Corvier. Took, Corvair. Corvair. Oh, okay. Corvair it, convertible. That's like risky business. Mind well, I, I came I, over and just took all the shit. Took my yeah. I had to give up a, a nice uh, chase lounge or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> chase, chase lounge. You're the best. Man. I love it. Really a Corvair convertible Monza, Corvair. which is right now. If I still had it, yeah, you yeah. know, is a fucking. I could go to those antique shows. I'd be able to hang. Pawn it or sell it? Huh? Oh, it's Nothing. been gone by now. <laughs> you know, speaking of pawning. Um, wow. I don't know if we have the story. I guess they found a baseball card collection in an attic. Oh, yeah. Do we have that story? Yeah, and how much did they say? They said only 500000 That's bullshit. Or the collection's worth a half million? I think they said either half a million or... And they, they got a Honus 50. Wagner? Honus Wagner. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to think there's a lot of those... The, a lot of those Honus Wagner. Honus Wagner cards. They, they Supposedly, there were only like two or three. Now I think we're up to a dozen or so. Yeah. Well, there was only a certain amount that came from the cigarette pack, the Lucky Strikes or whatever the pack was. There was only... They, oh, it was a, was it a cigarette pack card? Yeah, that yeah. Honus Wagner one. Oh, wait a minute. You got that, Travis? Travis oh. knows all. I have it in my memory. Uh, it's not the Honus Wagner card that you're thinking of. Oh. It's they found this set from like 1910 that nobody even knew existed. Honus Wagner is one of the cards, hmm. and it's interesting because it is a it's a tobacco card, which you know he was against. So he was. Yeah. Why? He was what? against cigarettes? What? what yeah, that, that's why the card is so... It was in 1910? That's 1910? why the card is worth so much money. Cigarettes are like medicine. No, I know. I know the whole story. <laughs> People loved Jesus. cigarettes. No, yeah, making yeah, a bit out of it. Like, how do, how do you know in 1910 that cigarettes are cigarettes bad for are bad. Yeah, In the Come 60s, on. they didn't know. Right. No. So they're estimating that the value, I think, is around, what, $3 million? For what? The whole... For, for the whole set. Uh, uh, yeah, it says so. there's 700 cards in all could be worth up to $3 million. Yeah, but they well, really don't this know. this isn't because... the one that uh, <laughs> everyone knows. It's going to sit in my shop for a while. A uh, hundred bucks? Yeah. Can you do 150 one thirty-five, and that's as high as I'm gonna go. Well, I was looking to get seven million, but I walked out with one thirty-five. So. <laughs> I'm gonna get to take my wife out to dinner here in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I love that dumb show. What oh, idiots! Oh, that's not fucking produced. That guy doesn't learn. Oh, all of a sudden, he knows about a Civil War <laughs> fucking oh, shoelace. Watch. Let me you tell know? you a little about this watch. <laughs> he brings in his pal that just happens uh, to know about I, the Civil War. I have an expert that knows about this stuff. Me, I like when it's yeah, like a guy goes. Uh, yeah, I want $4,000 for this watch. He goes, uh, not out of the question, but let me get an expert in here so I could tell. Meanwhile, he's thinking there's no fucking way I'm paying yeah. four grand for this. I'll get the expert. I'll talk about it, and then I'll offer him like 700 bucks. American dollars? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking 700 cash right now. Right nice. now, heroin addict. <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, I could take 700 and then I go to play fucking craps. I could build it up to the price I wanted. I can, oh. Okay, I want. Yeah, I want to send my daughter to college. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I love when they when, think they're going to send their when, daughter yeah. to college. I, I might way to buy a meth pipe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, really? I oh, love God. it. Did you see the one? Uh, this black Seen dude, them all, my friend. This black dude walked in there and he goes, "Oh, you're going to give me this?" And they go, "No." And they he he went out to store. Oh, that like, must have been hardcore pawn, which is different. By the way, I oh saw, yeah, that was that one was hardcore. Yeah, that was with scripted the father. Shit, I hate that fucking show. Yeah, I I hadn't come across it. Well, I'd seen it in the TV listings. I never yeah. turned it on though, and I finally turned it on just to see like how bad. Oh. bad the, the first. 20 seconds of me watching this was um, a black gentleman trying to pawn like a subwoofer and he wanted a yeah. price that they didn't want to pay yeah. and then the mother dragged him out by his ear saying you don't talk to people like that and I'm like oh god uh, really? are you kidding me it's yeah. so fake the <laughs> first thing I see from this show yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she jumped back onto the pancake yeah. box oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the part I remember <laughs> you know how big these pawn uh, shows have gotten <laughs> is there's one on ABC now is there? It's, yeah, there, there's a. Oh, uh, it's like a sports card collectible store. Oh. And it's on ABC's on like. Sunday. I like the ones with only toys. It's called Kitty Pawn. 
<laughs> Whoa, start the car. Uh, <laughs> fucking, Did you see the game show welcome now? Welcome to Opie, Opie and Pun. Uh, <laughs> uh, storage fucking units have a show, and uh, I don't. Yes. Storage, units, storage have, units have a show, <laughs> and uh, I don't. Storage <laughs> units have a little more personality. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have they found a dead body in... And uh, those their content units is more yet? relevant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that show, have they found a dead body yet? That would well, be the big No, deal. that would be a good one, though. Because they, they, they buy these things. They know what's in those fucking things. Do, though, that's right? another. There's one. Of course here's what do. happens with of these course. reality shows. There's one that's pretty much based in truth. And then five more shows come out that are completely fake and scripted and shit. Now, the storage locker one, they have one that's kind of real. And then they got a bunch of them where it's just fake scripted shit. They, it's not true. They don't have the patience to wait around until they right, finally until find something the good, good shit. The worst That's one. That's why reality shows in general suck now. The worst one I've to seen. Wait it out. An ad for lizard lick towing, which is one of these fucking tow shows that right. are completely fake. They go into a, a garage. It's locked. Okay? They get locked inside somehow, and a fire starts. And they're in there going, "We gotta get out. We gotta get." Out. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy's still fucking filming the episode <laughs> inside the locked on fire garage. Instead of trying to get out you think and panicking, stop or, filming? I was in maybe he would. I was in California Yeah, when it happened. When the fire started, I you was knew that? Yeah. Uh, See? Each fucking... First of all, I know the prices of these things that they get out of these things. Yeah. And they go, well, this is worth 300 mm. It Really? Mm. It's worth 300 It's a black and white television. Okay, <laughs> really? It's a fucking Mr. Coffee pot. Well, with it, this couch I could get. No, you can't, because no one's going to pay top dollar for a used... Fucking jizz monger, jizz fucking lice infested. <laughs> okay, no one's gonna yes. pay that. So it's You're all right. it's right. all bullshit. I remember one uh, episode. Uh, one of the guys they opened up one of these huge lockers and it was it was uh, office furniture. Yeah. He's like, oh, I ain't bidding on that. He's like, office furniture. You can't get shit for office furniture. And then two episodes later, another thing full. You know, office furniture that's still in the box. Oh, it's office furniture. It's great. It's never been used. You can get three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars for that this one. This is great stuff. I'm gonna bid on this one. And it's it's constant. Here's what happens. Every time they open it up, and it's like, ah, oh, this looks like a lemon. Ah, oh, we're not going to make any money on this. And then before they go to commercial, it's like, hey, there's a box over there. What? Whoa! And then they go to commercial. Go to commercial. And they come, and they come back, back. It's like, oh, there was a hole in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's nothing. It's like, oh, like an three time of life Civil War chess right. set pieces. Okay. Uh, first, and then they they all have a friend that works. Oh, we're going to take this down to the train store. Like there's one fucking train store left in that. Area <laughs> in town. Always. You know what? We're going to take this down to the Dove Soap Memorial <laughs> <Yeah>. Museum. <laughs> Who's the curator here? I want to speak with him. Okay. But you know, these guys uh, get, get a hold of their friends and, like, all right, today you're the expert yeah, on You're, you're uh, going to be the expert trade. on this. We're going to come to you, all right? It's like, wait a minute. A month ago, he was the gun expert. <laughs> right. What the fuck is this about? You know that's going on. This is horseshit. All right, about pickers, when, like, one of the pickers, he goes, he goes I know the perfect guy I'm going to sell this to. I have a customer. He would love something like this so basically break that down all right he's in his head he's in some guy's backyard he goes i know a guy who'd pay me like five fucking times what i could get yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm paying and, then, for this. and then and then he'll go well how much you want for that oh let me get 150 and he'll go ooh, how about 100 <sighs> and then when he, and he's like he's like dude i got a great deal he i got it from him for 100 i'm gonna sell this for 700 dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, so it's like you knew you were gonna make a fuck ton of money and you were still being a scumbag on the price he's still I, fucking still, trying to jab on the price here's one show i only watch a little of it maybe once or twice where they buy something then resell it for more money then buy something else yeah. so they start all on like craigslist or it's yeah, a, it's yeah, a it's resell a turnover show. shit yeah. yes turnover so they end up you know okay i bought uh tootsie pop for three cents <laughs> and i i sold it for 50 <laughs> it works its way up and the guy's living in a fucking mansion yeah. that's got to be produced you cannot turn a lollipop into a mansion <laughs> they're, they're amazing <laughs> it's yeah. fucking insane. i, I watch i watch those goddamn shows though and, and it's <laughs> captivating. that fucking pawn stars is the best one though the fucking old man i would hate to yeah. go to the counter with him he doesn't want to give for shit you walk in, you think you're getting somebody else, an old man. An old man comes oh, along. I'd just shit. be like, fuck, man. I'm fucked. We what watched it last is it, night, gold man? doubloon? I don't know, son. That do, gold doubloons aren't going for all that much. <laughs> now, <laughs> somebody, why'd you go and goddamn buy a hot air balloon? <laughs> <laughs> you really I, know I, when he's done. Like, I, yes. You know that that is the last price he's giving. That's it. And he doesn't even let the other guys do it. Because like, no. like, sometimes Corey's there, and he's like, uh, the guy goes, yeah, I want 400 for it. And Corey goes, 
Ah, uh, let me, and he, of course, like thinking about what he wants to do, and the old man's like, I "Ain't getting no more than fifty dollars." <laughs> okay. right, it's like let Corey fucking okay. talk. Well, they're and doing. By the good... way, no one calls Corey Big Hoss. <laughs> I've never heard him called Big Hoss. They're, they're doing good. It was the time that they were yes, working our backyard doing, for man. free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw him buy a, an airplane. Uh, okay. Aero, an airplane. An airplane. An airplane. Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> airplane. I saw my airplane. I didn't know you were right. a, a oh fan God. of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I've been to a lot of porn <laughs> stores in my life. I've never I seen an airplane. Have. I've never seen an airplane. <laughs> an airplane. An airplane. It's yeah, really yeah. still. Uh, you know. Uh, you never it's, saw, it's, yeah. You know, it, yeah, they really, buy shit that it, it's like, where are they yeah, putting that? There was one where they were going to buy this big fucking robot crate. Did you see I that? I saw one? It's yes. like one of those big uh, things that they take to the auto shows. And it looks like a big monster yeah. and breathes it's fire. Truckzilla. It, he, they wanted <laughs> yeah. a, he wanted a million bucks for it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get my Truckzilla expert here. <laughs> I got an expert on giant machines that look like dragons. <laughs> yeah, the guys normally uh, call me down when, whenever they got a big truck question. A big truck uh, question. Well, this is indeed a big monster made out of a machine. <laughs> Although the yeah. girl on Storage Wars is kind of hot. For some right, right, right. Well, you got to have the hot She's not like, whoa, but she's yep. like. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he's holding out for more money? Really? Yeah, they're, they're, they got to like. I guess all these guys have contracts. They got to resign all these characters, ah. and he knows that people. He's hated so much Which that if he, he Dave Hester, oh. yeah, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. if he left, people might not be interested in the show anymore because people love to hate him. So he's trying. Oh, he's trying smart. to hold out for a pit. Wow! Smart. I hope they ditch him. And he's like the one with wait, glasses, the little. Uh, he's like the he got uh, the, the he always has big trucks big and the trucks. black yeah. and the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. guy yeah. because he says he makes so much money, he doesn't need that fucking show. He's just like that's Trump change. So. It is odd because, like, even Pawn Stars, you know those motherfuckers are making more money than they're paying them to do the goddamn show. But I guess they get a lot of publicity. That store, apparently, oh. you went there, right? Yeah. It's, and it's uh, packed? <laughs> yeah. it's. I mean, I went on a weird day, so it wasn't like a line outside. But there was definitely not a lot of moving around indoors. Half of the space is now retail for like, Pawn Stars memorabilia, Chumley Holy t-shirts. Oh, really? my God. Yeah, you get, a co you know, you get like a, co a $60 coin with the old man's face on it. You know, shit like that. <laughs> wow. And, then, right, and these guys aren't there, Obviously, right. because they're you know they just be mobbed. Yeah, so there's a course. there's just a big cardboard cutout way in the back. So that's where you go and take your pictures. They oh just show God. up to film the show, and and they're not they don't work there anymore. Look, look, I can only wow. speak for the day yeah. that I was there. The day right, I was right, there. Right, right, right. I've been there day saw. off. I know a reality show in a beauty salon they had. Okay, none of them. They were all casted. The customers were casted. Jersey Licious. I didn't say any names. I'm not fucking ratting anything out, but they're all casted. Jersey Licious? I don't know the name exactly. I just know. Well, that's the only reality show in a beauty salon. Is it, how did you know that so quickly? Oh, I might have watched, oh, I I watched a couple episodes. I, excited <laughs> I might have watched it. a few. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see? Uh, I might have watched. There's a new uh, game show style show called Picked Off. Oh, it started last night. Yeah. Oh, oh is, yeah. Is, is that the one with the... The American Pickers guys and um, I don't know if it's the Pickers guys. Really, I was kind of it's on history. I, I, yeah, I was kind of falling asleep. Oh, okay. But uh, uh, it's like a game show where it's like these teams of pickers. They 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 have a, a set amount of time to go and, and pick with a I guess with a, a budget. I'm not sure because it would just debuted last night. Mm -hmm. And like you know, the whole goal is to see who what team is the better the better team of picker that could uh, get like make more yeah, money who could, after who, who makes the better decision, who could identify the better deal, sort of a thing. Uh -huh. Did, Danny turned mm -hmm. me on to Final Offer. Have you watched that yet? Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah, pretty, yeah, cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. I've seen one. some people fuck yeah. up so see, bad. I'm so glad you guys are because I mentioned it fucking oh, like last week. Everybody's looking one? at me like an asshole. Explain Final <laughs> it's Offer. It's fucking good. Explain, Explain it. I don't even know this one. Uh, all right. It's uh, people take their collections or they're valuable and they they bring them to these four collectors and uh, each guy they might be art dealers or whatever. It's always the same four guys. So here's the catch: you go in, uh, you they, you present your item, and then now you have these four rooms with four dealers in these rooms. You can go in. Sequentially, you know, you pick a guy that you want to start with. He will give you an offer. You got, you can negotiate. If you decide to take his offer, that's it. You don't talk to the other guys. If you pass on his offer, you will not have the chance to get it again. You say that's it, and you go hoping that the next, the other three guys, one of those guys, will have a better offer. Wow! And then at the end, everybody gets together and they say, okay, well, who bought it and what was the price, and then everybody's yeah. like, oh, I would have paid, I would have paid an extra thousand or another guy. Will yeah, say, oh, yeah, yeah. Have, but are they so fucking dumb? Are they, okay, are they purposely you trying to fuck you too well, no. for the show? There, well, there are there are times when some people don't know what they have. There's times when other people, the, like the collectors, don't know what it is that that they're trying to buy exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, all, it's all bullshit because they'll go into booth one. He'll say, 
10,000. The guy, no, no, no. And then the producer goes to booth two in the air, offer him four. Okay? It's like fucking. Well, it's like trying yours. to make something. Okay, so. They got to make they, TV still. Yeah, so. Coming up on 21. So, <laughs> so <laughs> then it, it, you know what? It, it's let's make a deal. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of has that. But the final uh, offer brought to you by Geritol. <laughs> did, you see, did you see the one with the Marilyn Monroe dress? Yes. No. For $500,000, yeah. she passed it up, and no yeah. one offered her shit after yeah. that. They're like, oh, what would, and, and they don't know what offer they gave, so they're like, how about $30,000? And she's like, she just passed up a half a million. But yeah. does she have to sell it at that point? No, like, no, 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 she, no. She could choose not to sell it. Did yeah. you see the season finale with that, that chick who had, um, like, the, this, uh, it's, it's not a ruby, it was like some oh, ring. I missed that. Uh, I didn't see that one. Uh, it might have been a sapphire. Uh, but it was like, it was, it was the perfect grade. Like, everybody knew that, that she had something that really? was worth, like, yeah, $250,000. And she knew it, too. She took two hundred grand. One of the guys was going to offer like four hundred. Oh, how do you know that? Whoops. Because well, after you sell it, that's the show. That's the show. Yeah. <laughs> that's the show. You know, after you sell it, they they all go back into the room and say, "Okay, here's what I got for it." And if somebody, if you didn't get to present the item to somebody, they would have said, "Well, I would have paid this much," or like, "Yeah, I wouldn't have paid that much." You think they're lying? Yeah. They, you don't trust uh, anyone, Rich. Yeah. That chick with the Monroe dress was great, though, because she got it off of eBay for like 30 grand. Yeah. And she she turned down half a mil because she wanted a whole mil. Yeah. And then never had, Can you imagine that? Like, can you imagine getting something off of eBay and then a, a legitimate $500,000 offer? Yeah, oh, but wow. you know yeah, what? That showcased. That showcased. Now, I guarantee she sold it for more money somewhere else. You think? After, yeah, it was seen some on fruit. TV, and it was all, yeah, you know, who the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some, fr some fruit. Wants you know to what put else is cool, too? Uh, uh, Hollywood Treasures. Hollywood Treasures. Hollywood Treasures. Hollywood Treasures. I haven't seen that one. Hollywood what Treasures, on, uh, Hollywood Treasures on sci fi. It's about, uh, you know, profiles in history, that, that big auction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hollywood company. Auction House. They, yeah. they have their own show. Ooh. Yeah, and it's really interesting because this is like high end. Like Hollywood memorabilia Hollywood stuff. Memorabilia oh, that's shit. fucking yeah. great. Like if you're into like weird, like if you know, lots of Star Wars, yeah, shit, lots like of a Star fucking, Trek stuff. Oh like, man, yeah, it's Darth really cool. Oh, you know what they had? Uh, uh, the the actual Red October, like yeah. the ten oh, fucking man, long the big Red model. October. Fuck, that's hell cool. yeah, shit like that. that. If you like right. weird shit, like how much that? was that? Cool, you know, uh, that uh, went for what, like twenty grand or something. A lot more than they thought it was going to. That's all I I think they thought they would get like six grand out of it, and they got like twenty. And the cool thing is, is, is they'll they'll show the auction. You know, yeah, like, yeah. like when they when they eventually put these things in auction, they'll well, that's show the exciting part, yeah, right? Exactly. Hey, I'm Simon. Yeah, they sure. had a vacuum, but they were passing it off as Christopher Reeves. <laughs> Wait, I I, I I don't even I, explain because he's on wheels and <laughs> had his respirate. Right. It sold for ninety five thousand. Ninety five thousand in red October. That's pretty fucking cool, though. Right. Well, didn't and it's huge. And the guy oh, yeah. didn't want to take it because he's like, it's big. Who's going to buy it? The guy, whoever's going to buy it has to put it somewhere. And he couldn't uh, imagine it's getting it. going to be in my it. shop a long time. I'm gonna, it's oh, going to take up room. And the guy that, the guy that owned this, who, who gave it to Profile, who consigned it to Profile to sell, uh, also had the Forrest Gump bench. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah, he's got a lot of shit. Why, is that bench. worth big money? Oh, yeah. The, the that bench was from big. Forrest yeah. Gump? Yeah. This is the actual bench. The price can go through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. To Dude, Hollywood members, that's huge. That's, yeah. Is there a Back to the Future auction happening or something? I saw some member bill. Some guy tweeted me a link to that. There's, there's stuff going uh, up. Yeah, all there's there's always going stuff, right? The what about? Yeah, there's a pretty cool auction that they've got cool. coming up at the end of what the month. What about water surrounding Natalie Wood? Like, what if they? Took, uh, I don't think that <laughs> if they uh, bottle that water. Of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? Did, Ring out her lungs. <laughs> they had a, they had to show pickers with two hot girls. I don't know if it lasted. Two hot girls that were going out picking, right? Because you know they didn't really have that business because they were too hot. Too hot to and... be working going through garage garbage sale. Right. Going through garbage. So okay, of course. A Cylon. Oh my god. All right, listen. Why don't we break? Because we got to get to the Robert Blake audio. It's hey. amazing. He's seventy nine, by the way. It's like spats for a hummingbird. <laughs> the fuck did is he, he talking? About? He always uses spats for a hummingbird. What did he say? As a something that's useless. And he called uh, Piers a potato. He's calling something potato. Potato. It's in the audio that we're going to play next. Foss, what are you promoting there, buddy? Oh, this uh, weekend I'm at uh, Uncle Vinny's in uh, Point Pleasant with uh, Mr. Bob Levy. Uh, will be opening for me at Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant this weekend there, and I'm there in August too. So. And our podcast is called My Wife Hates Me on iTunes or 
riotcast.com. It's pretty good. The last episode I heard was pretty good. Oh, uh, boy. Did Bonnie blow you? <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you know. I got the clip. What's that? <laughs> you got the clip. I got the clip. You got the clip? I'm prepared today. Well, <laughs> I haven't heard this yet. I'm, oh, you behind. I'm behind on your podcast. Oh, this a is bit. a good one. I'm a couple behind right now. The last two were really good podcasts. Really? All yeah, right. So we got cool. the clip of maybe Bonnie blowing you. Wow. I'm going to play it, and we're going to get to the bottom of that finally. And Robert Blake's audio next. Stay there. Uh, remember these uh, guys, Bush. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Happy birthday, uh, Kaz. The Kaz. Yeah? 76 today. 76. Wait a minute. Christine McVie. That's uh, that's a Fleetwood Macker, right? I think so. 70? Whoa. You're doing birthdays? Who are you, fucking Willard Scott? <laughs> <laughs> you know why? <laughs> What you know, yeah, you're, you're absolutely uh, fucking yeah. right. But it does add to it. It, it, it leads to s- stuff sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, though. Uh, that's funny. But Christine McVie, seventy. That's like that's weird. Who from uh, Fleetwood Mac? Yeah, they used to be like hot broads. Well, no, she wasn't she was, hot. Uh, no, she wasn't. Was hot. Okay, Stevie Nicks is a fucking bitch. And I don't, who gives a fuck? And she was what over. Hot girl is it? See this. Is, see what happened here. A birthday thing t- is ah, turning into something. See? Now. Oh, okay. That's the brilliance. Right of us. before your eyes. Although you are right. <laughs> Where's the naked picture of Stevie Nicks from that album cover? Stevie Nicks Didn't was. Did she do a naked fucking album cover or something? Overrated, right? Uh, yeah. Everyone's kind of like hot that. when they're I don't young. like that. <laughs> no, I mean overrated as a hot broad. Oh. Linda Ronstadt was pretty hot. Is that her? Linda um, Ronstadt. Do you see that one poster of she her? She was hot for one year. She's been a fat pig her entire oh, career. Man, that's true. So, if you close a deal during that year, that's all true. <laughs> true, true, true. Jerry Brown went out with her. Jerry California Brown. Uh, governor. Yeah. yeah. Jerry Brown. I just like that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. The, Let me the, see. Buckingham, um, oh yeah, let me, let me Nick's. Take, let me take a look at that album cover. Yeah, but she's she didn't hiding. Do that. She's hiding her goodness. She is hiding a little bit behind his giant fucking seventies hair. She's hiding her goodness. I bet she's got a big hairy muff in that what, picture, right? What was the best Stevie Nicks rumor? I want. I want to know if everyone has it. Uh, the that best Stevie Nicks rumor. Go ahead. Had Ed. a cock. She had a. No. Oh damn it! You don't know the best Stevie Nicks rumor. What? That she, oh 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 that uh, she I know did so much gonna, coke uh, yeah, that uh, uh, her nose uh, her nose uh, fell off. That's one of the rumors. It's impossible. You got it with the coke thing though. Coke, that her her she got the hole in her nose. The best Stevie Nicks rumor is she uh, liked coke so much. Wait wait she drank so much cum they had to pump her stomach. Yes. Oh, no, no that was Rod. Uh, Rod Carew. Sterling. Rod, Rod <laughs> Sterling. Rod <laughs> Sterling. <laughs> it was actually Rod Carew. No. Uh, that was great. Rod Stewart, you Who was the girl, who's the girl that father uh, was banging on the... Uh, oh, that's uh, a, uh, that, that's a yeah. Fleetwood Macker. Oh, no. no that's a, a, uh, a mama and a mama. papa. Oh, with so Kenzie with, Phillips. Uh, this comic, Morgan Murphy... Had the best tweet after that. She's, She's a funny one to follow on Twitter, by the way. Best. She goes, see, ladies, if you if you wear them down enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Morgan Murphy's yeah, funny. Why'd yeah. she leave Fallon? I, I have She's no a writer. Idea. Oh, she a left very Kim funny writer. Fallon. Yeah, she's very funny. Very funny, man. I, I don't know her stand-up, to be honest with you. But I know her as a very funny uh, tweeter. <laughs> Bonnie had a tweet yesterday that was fucking... Uh, she goes, Adam Carolla gets... You know, ladies are upset about what Adam Carolla said about them not being funny. And mm. uh, Daniel Tosh has to apologize. She's like, men just can't win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is pretty good. <laughs> the Stevie Nicks rumor for the people that have OCD and, yeah. and care. Uh, she used to, like, uh, do um, coke up the butt. Oh, yeah? Why would you do coke in the butt? I don't know. She would fucking have someone blow it right up her asshole. It's a big rumor. I'm saying oh. it's a rumor. It'd That's be cool a if dumb she could rumor because it. it makes no sense. Is that rumor fucking online, Danny, or is that one? Rolled you know, up if, your if, if someone put coke in my butt, this would be my first reaction. <laughs> you would just blow <laughs> it back it. out with a fart? Uh, you wasted yeah, that you're way. wasting the goodness. Yeah, I, I, people I, that snorted it wasted it. Oh, you didn't like uh, snorting? It's, fuck no. After you smoke, smoke it, it it's like reading a play? book backwards. Who the fuck <laughs> smokes? I don't even know what's it. Mere child's play. You're right. Real yeah. child's play. Wasting it. 
Listen, why don't we get on to the uh, – we're done with our birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> we like to, Richard Simmons, 65. We'd like to give a shout-out oh. to Anna, Tom, Anna Tompkins from uh, Duluth, Minnesota. She's turning 97 today. 97 years young. <laughs> young. It's on just, a smucker's jar. It's celebrity birthdays <laughs> that lead to shit. That's all. Yeah. We throw they, shit out there and hope it leads to something. That's our whole job. Okay. So other shows will just do birthday – you know, wish it not. You know, uh, they'll they'll announce birthdays and that's it. It doesn't Richard, go anywhere. Richard Simmons has a similar rumor uh, as Stevie Nicks. <laughs> What's his rumor? Well, it's not Coke. <laughs> <laughs> gerbils? Is he a gerbil <laughs> guy? Whatever big fucking hairy thing wants to be up his ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Who was? Uh, he made He's a whole career. Out of shape. Fucking, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I know you were just gonna go there. Yeah. I'm amazed. Out of shape icon of fucking physical fitness. Yeah, he, 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 an entire career terrible. with the guy that was never in shape ever. He made his bones on a General Hospital many years ago as like the fruity fitness guy. And then somehow he got out of the soap opera and into real life as the same character. Wait a minute. That's how it started? Yes. I didn't know until this moment. Yes. I, I always thought he was just a workout guy. No, he was on General Hospital. As a character. As a workout character. And then he left that and everyone kind of... Just fucking had him as the f physical fitness guy. And Wonder Woman that. never sued him for stealing her outfits. Mm, yeah, with his dumb shorts, yeah, his flag short, oh, and his oh flag shorts. <laughs> and now he's got. <laughs> I thought you said something else. <laughs> now he's got cotton candy hair. Oh, oh he's got that old lady. Horrible. You see old ladies you can see right through their yeah, hair. That, he's got that. It just <laughs> looks like fucking like cirrus clouds. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> A little meteorological meteorological Fuck joke for you. His Horrible. dry cactus hair should be blowing yeah. in front of the saloon. Every He's got dandelion hair. <laughs> dandelion. <laughs> dandelion. Fuck. Yeah, you just <laughs> every, <laughs> Yeah. Every if you ever go to, to health clubs, most of the aerobics instructors are they're all fucking aerobics. fat. Of, How old are you? Not a, whatever fat. they do. Call are they? Aerobics. Yeah, what do they call it now? I don't know. Workout classes. <laughs> Really? No one does aerobics? When you do aerobics size. I don't no fucking know. Anymore. It was my oh. birthday two weeks ago. Did I get oh, a shout birthday. out? We fucking didn't know. You're yeah. not famous enough to make our celebrity birthday list. I'm <laughs> famous enough to break my arm on my birthday. You broke your arm? See. You guys broke my arm on my birthday. You you smashed a pot. No, it was your elbow. Bert, Bert day. On my birthday. <laughs> It was my what? Birthday. It was your elbow. You don't even yeah. remember. Your elbow is part of your arm. You fucking... Yeah, but people would say I broke my elbow before they said they say I broke my arm. Broke my knee, okay. man. Well, I'm just saying. It I still is have... part of the arm. You're right, but it I was still your elbow. had the uh, X-rays, and I'm still talking to lawyers. Oh shit! Stuff's gonna fucking come back and bite you in the ass. All right, let's uh, move on to Robert Blake. He was on Piers Morgan, oh, and no yeah. one is talking about Piers Morgan at all. Robert but, Blake, but he uh... finally got a little. Uh, bump yesterday in, yeah. in publicity. A lot of people's opinion, uh, Robert Blake got away with murder. <laughs> and that's what Piers Morgan brought up. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is the video? That's Rich on stage. Blowing out the candles on his birthday cake. One of our virus shows. Birthday, yeah. It's Louis C.K., Bobby, Rich, Bonnie, me, Opie. You guys sue Bob wow. Kelly. <laughs> you do know you have to sue Bob Kelly, not me. Bob <laughs> Kelly, a little too aggressive. Wow, Bobby's a fucking prick. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to have a little fun with it, like just get the cake in your face, and Bob Kelly went all in. Yeah, I got a and charged was, you. Rich held up his birthday cake. It, Bobby Kelly came over and Opie at the same time, kind of, to tip it up into his face. That's all I was and going Bobby for. And Bobby pushed it so hard that Rich actually flew, yeah. hit the floor. Cracked and you, you heard your I, I hope you try to sue me. You're gonna, I would never. You're going to lose. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to say it was true. It was you're going to lose. Because I, I want you to lose. Ago. Sue everyone. Because I was, I was very injured. There was cake everywhere, <laughs> for God's sake. I was hurt. I was oh. going for the basic, get it in your face, and Bob Kelly is the prick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's called Happy Birthday, Rich Voss wow, on YouTube. We'll Bobby. put it on our Facebook page, Opie and Anthony. Bobby One has word. some animosity toward you. Holy Back shit. Back then he did. Yeah. I do, uh, well, we, we were at the Comedy Cellar one night, yeah. and we're fucking around, and he picked up my pack of cigarettes and yeah. just threw them across the room. Mm -hmm. I took a whole 
plate of buffalo, buffalo wings and threw them in his lap. <laughs> well, oh, fucking shit. Wings. I don't know if he was more mad that his clothes got dirty or he couldn't eat them. But <laughs> that's that's the old Bob Kelly too. Before he gained a bunch of weight, because oh, now boy. he certainly wouldn't let a birthday cake go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> he would, oh. The current Bob Kelly would be crying seeing the cake on the stage. He's one of my favorite people on the planet. I he's love Bob. Fantastic. No, but he really a little is. worried about him. Huh? A little worried about Bobby. Why he's losing. He's he's working out. Is he he's, losing? All right. Him he goes box he's boxing. Yeah, with Keith. Yeah. He's Was he boxing, boxing. And Amy Box Schumer. Is he boxing up desserts? <laughs> 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 he's he's uh, boxing. Well, what happens is Keith just <laughs> hits him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, we love you. Here's Robert Blake on Piers Morgan. Do you remember the night that she died well, or is it now? A... His uh, his ex wife. Were they married? Do you at the remember time? your president Nixon? Uh, yeah, he remembers. Her name was Bonnie. He remembers. Were they married at the time? That she was murdered? I think they were estranged, whatever that means. Well, weren't they going to a restaurant together, and he went yeah, back yeah. in to get his keys or something weird, and all of a sudden there was a hit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, she's out outside. <laughs> what the fuck? How did he's he get like, away with this? He's like, yeah, I forgot my shit inside. Right. And he goes in. Conveniently. And conveniently, when he's inside, she's murdered. She gets fucking murdered outside. Wow. When you said, do you remember President Nixon? Yes. Why don't you go to the map and... and have one of the callers, you know, take the red tack out and see if they know what song that's from for a prize. See? Do you know what song that's from? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go to your mouth. Old Jizz Belly sang it. <laughs> no, no. Old Jizz it? Gut. No, that, that was Bowie. Yeah. What? He was Jizz Gut, too. He was Jizz Gut, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bowie when he wasn't making out with uh, Mick Jagger. Swallowed there. so much of uh, Jagger's Jizz, and then Jagger swallowed so much of his Jizz. Oh. <laughs> they were just pumping stomachs. <laughs> it's crazy. They were all just sleeping with each other. <laughs> You're choking on that? Are you choking on jizz? He's choking like some guy that knows what that tastes like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, why such a reaction? Oh, it's man. disgusting thinking Flashback. that. too close to home, huh? <laughs> oh, no, what's the song? I really don't know. Um, uh, uh, changes. Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, they, you, Wait, what's the lyric? Young Americans. Oh, yeah. What's the lyric again, Ant? Do you, remember remember goes, you do remember your President Nixon? Oh, right, 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 right. The bills you had to pay, or even yesterday. Yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> I like some Bowie. I saw a fucking Bowie in concert. He was, was he great. good? Oh, fucking great. Yeah, that's Zig a surprise. He did Ziggy Stardust. That's when he came out with Ziggy yeah, Stardust. Yeah, yeah. It was a fucking, that was a good album. What year was that? Were you a uh, crackhead? No, I was coke. Oh, okay. Oh. That was before crack. I didn't go to concerts when I did crack. Who has time for concerts? <laughs> What's time for anything but crack? I, 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 crack. <laughs> I, I ever tell the story when me and my buddy Buzz, Buzzy were fucked up on cocaine and we went to a James Taylor show? Oh, and we wow. were in the front row. Good choice of fucking uh, <laughs> That's artists. why it's funny. <laughs> we yeah. were making a complete, a complete asses of ourselves. Because we were wired, and everyone's just chilling because he's just singing his tiny little <laughs> mellow song. Singing his little mellow song. But to us, we were wired. at a, like a Metallica show. Did I ever tell this story? No. And we got kicked out? You got kicked out of a concert? Yeah, because we were completely over yeah! the top. I've seen but, but I remember, your teeth. I remember the I remember the day, to us, we thought we were acting appropriately. Well, don't you look and he's down. just like you know, oh like my god, doing fire and rain, and we're we're thinking it's Enter oh, yeah. Sandman in our heads. <laughs> you gotta help me take a stand. <laughs> yeah. I, I, oh, I, I seen fire <laughs> and I seen rain. Yeah, motherfucker, <laughs> sing it, you fuck. That's pretty I've much seen what was long happening. The days that I thought would never. Whoa, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell the story on the air? We were we were like an hour late, and we thought that was normal. And then we sing it, you motherfucker! <laughs> we, we, we took our seats. We were singing a little too loud. We were doing the sing-alongs when no one else was singing along. Oh man, How embarrassing! And I believe it got to a point where James Taylor completely noticed us. <laughs> we got kicked out. You gotta help me make a stand. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, motherfucker! <laughs> Love this fuck! 
<laughs> we were so zooted. Zooted. We were fucked know, up. We and she, really. Yeah, Coke will fucking do shit to you. We went to see the New York Dolls. We were tripping our brains out. It was Halloween night at the Waldorf Astoria, and everybody's fucking trench. It's all gay. The New York Dolls had a big gay following. Oh, certainly did. Hence the why you were best, there. The yeah. best costumes, and we're all fucking up, fucked up on blotter <laughs> acid. Yeah. And I, I told him, I'm blotter at, and we're sitting on a table, and the lead singer had a gun that shot light with a snare drum. <laughs> yeah. It was like a machine gun shooting light, and we're, and we're tripping. Oh, I'll freak you out. And we're fucking freaking out. Then we go outside to look for our car, his mother's. We go to a cop. We go, where's our car? And he goes, oh, it was probably uh, impounded, but we thought he meant compounded into a little square. Because <laughs> we <we've> been tripping. <laughs> like, we go, oh, Big Joe's car. fucking car in tow. And... We go, your mother's car is a paperweight. <laughs> no one that'll be missed. Are you kidding? <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Fuck it, little cube. <laughs> you were fucked up. <laughs> we were so fucked up. We're walking around all depressed, and we see the car, and then it was like fireworks and Jesus and everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Compacted, <laughs> impounded, compounded, <laughs> compacted. Have... You are fucked up, Rich Voss. James Taylor and Coke. Yeah. Yep. Sounds fun. I, I was, I was uh, the good old days. Mm. Also, great concerts back then. Yep. Where they? We really thought we were seeing oh, yeah. fuck. some fucking loud, over the top thing. Anyway, here's uh, Robert Blake. Yeah, let's hear Robert on Blake. The murder of his, uh, I think it was his wife at the time, Bonnie. Or is it now uh, something you've blocked out of your head? No, I remember it quite well. <laughs> you went and had dinner at this restaurant. Where are you going? Oh! I'm, I'm interested in what happened. No, you're not interested. The guy, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Let me help you. Let me take this out of my ear. There's no one talking to me. Okay? You haven't got to worry. There is nobody talking to me. These are my questions for you, which are based, in my view, perfectly and Now you want to know what happened that night? I'm curious, yeah. No, you're not curious. I am, because you were acquitted. I in thought a... you said you researched all this, so you know what happened that night. I know, I know the facts of the night. I'm what? curious about... Tell me about the facts of the night. You take your wife for dinner to a restaurant. Go ahead. Your wife goes to the car. You go back to retrieve, as you say, your gun, which is in the restaurant. And when you return, your wife has been shot dead. When they test the gun that you go and retrieve, that is not the same gun they killed her. Am I right so far? So far. Right, so Roughly, I'm factually yes. correct. I have no agenda here at all. You clearly think I do, but well, I don't. It sounds boring as hell, but go ahead. No. I don't think it's boring. Your wife got murdered. <laughs> no, but your questions are boring. I mean, even what you just said. Are you sure the people at the bet give a about any of this? What? What was that part? In bed. Oh, people that are watching. in bed, like yeah. they're watching in bed. Oh, 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 he doesn't understand. It is pretty compelling to hear a guy that you think might have murdered, or at least had his wife murdered, kind of a thing, well, uh, talk about the murder. It, it, it is compelling. But in all fairness to Robert Blake, uh, hasn't this been talked about a million times? Why is it being brought up now? But why is he know. doing a talk? Hasn't he, yeah, why is he out he right now? What, he, what's he, he doing? He wrote a book. He wrote oh. a book. Oh, so he's wife. rarely out, so it would be... In line to ask him about this? Well, yeah, it's in the book. Come on, it's in the book. Oh, yeah. and it's in the book. Okay. Yeah, it's his life. What All do you right. want to ask him about when he was little uh, Mickey uh, on uh, the Little Rascals? Right. <laughs> 79 years old, by the way, and it looks like he could still beat the shit out of a lot of people. 79? That's what I look, just looked up. 79 Damn. for Robert Blake. 1933, right? 67 plus 12. That's 79 in my mind. 1933? Yeah, he was He was uh, one of 79. the... 79. Later on, during the shitty Little Rascals, he was in that one. Right. Where, where Spanky was all fat. Yeah. Fat Spanky. Yeah. And fucking Darla had started getting giant yeah. tits on her. <laughs> Buckwheat was a lot of shit on the front of the bus. Well, not really. <laughs> not, <laughs> no, not quite. No, no. Hal Roach put fucking... Knew, he knew how to put them in their place. <laughs> yeah. That guy was a fucking racist prick. <laughs> Who was Al Roach? Al Roach, yeah, the fucking guy that put remember, all that shit together. You don't remember the sweat on the wall? When Stymie fucking was sweating, working on the uh, over the stove, and he went to take the sweat, he, he wiped his forehead and, and flung his hand to fling the sweat off, and it was brown all along <laughs> brown the fucking spots on the wall. Yeah, black fucking oh, shit, yeah. where his sweat would have been black because he was a black guy. Yeah. 
How he had fucking Spanky and, and Stymie and shit running past fire. Yep. That was flying out, and it was no CGI back then. They lit fires. There was real fire. And had children run through out. it. Do you, <laughs> do you remember great. when the 1910 Fruit Gum Company, Fruit Gum, fruit gum com Company, Fruit yeah. Gum Company played in the radio station, and the guys... Hair popped out. That wasn't the 1910 Fruit Gum Company. Who were, who were it they? was the International oh. Silver String Submarine Band. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> and they play the man on the flying trapeze. And then the guy's head. <laughs> yeah, and, and the engineer, his hair would pop out. That was me back you, in you uh, look. the 80s. <laughs> exactly. Actually, you look really good. Did you, have you not drink it for a Thank day? Thank you. For a day. Actually, well, <laughs> nah, technically. No. I, uh, you got a good glow. I'm tan. I fucking. I honestly have not been uh, partaking in as much booze as uh, as I have been. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, not for any reason, but just I just I I don't feel like I'm as. For some reason, I'm just not as into getting hammered as as much as I I uh, she can't get was. into bars. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you oh, kidding? You're oh. all pimp today, aren't you? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, yeah, that was uh, that's Robert Blake right there. We're watching a little one? clip from our gang, the guy kid in the middle, the little kid in the middle, the shortest one. Oh God, alfalfa. Alfalfa wind up getting yeah that's kid on the left is Robert Blake that's Robert Blake yeah oh fr froggy yeah he's all on the right that's Robert Blake he's not in uh, these are the later ones that really sucked look at Alfalfa yeah he looks a little too old for his uh, uh, bow tie yeah and they were always making him sing I'm a crooner. These were terrible. Look at Fat Spanky. <laughs> oh, buckwheat. You know they kept him fat, too, right? Oh, yeah. Spanky was hilarious in the early ones when he was a kid with a monkey. Fucking wreaking havoc in the orphanage. All right, let's get oh, back to Robert Blake. Terrible. Because we're going to run out of show, and then we're not going to get to the Bonnie blowjob thing for oh, the podcast. Shit. This Robert Blake shit is really good. I think you're here because you've written a book about your life. Yeah. And I would argue. There's a lot more to my life I, I'm sure than there is. that night. But there's probably Beretta. Yeah, but you know what? If you're part of a whole murder thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. people kind of want to hear about that. Nobody you can cares be as frustrated the... as you want, but nope. that's got to come up every time. Well, sudden... Nobody gives a fuck about the parrot. No. <laughs> and, and no one as really. Much. No one really wants to talk to OJ about his Heisman. Exactly. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's pretty much. Sucks to be you, but unfortunately, yeah. you know, this is the highlight of your life. I'm sure there then is. that night. But there's probably nothing more significant in your life than... Really? Than the murder of your wife? I didn't murder my wife. It may be significant to you. I didn't say you did. But it isn't I said, to me. I you said, said there's nothing more significant... Than the murder of your wife. Personally, it's not the most significant thing in my life. What is the being... most significant thing in my life... Mm -hmm is when I was two years old and I found an audience. The next most significant thing is when I went to MGM as an extra and three years later I starred in my first film. You know, I don't know. The, America just was going to war. It was the worst time in the world for America, but there's nothing more significant than a little boy with no parents, no friends, nothing, Walking into MGM and three years later starring sure. in his first film. Sure. You know how significant that is? No, because you've never lived my life. No, oh, God. I think uh, the murder thing <laughs> really yeah. kind of puts all it, that other stuff still above all that stuff. Yes. Yeah. Kind of in the back seat, a little bit. Oh, wow. Piers asked Robert Blake if he's sane. <laughs> oh, no, this ain't oh, going to play out well. Oh, you Piers. Do you think you're sane? I'm um, what? Do you think you're sane? Do you think you have your full sanity? Or has what's happened to you sent you slightly mad? What do you think? Well, I'll tell you. I think I was born... The truth is, I think I'm sort of a, a mutation or a subspecies. I think if I was born 10,000 years ago, I would have taken two or three people, gone off and started another tribe. How much do you blame I your parents? Am, I don't blame anybody. I, that book is about God. What? God kept me alive in a womb 
when my mother tried to abort me with coat hangers twice? Jesus. Uh, God kept me alive for the first two years of my life when nobody gave a whether I lived or died. God showed me where that sidewalk was and I started dancing. When I got out here, I was five years old. I stood in front of MGM and I said, I can do this. And I walked in there three years later. I starred in my first film. Wait, he's just a five-year-old going out to he's Hollywood? He's five. He's fucking walking around the streets. <laughs> wait, wait, he's hey, he's motherfucker. But was, wait, he said eight. Now eight, he was in his first film. I thought it was three. I don't know. Was he in an orphanage out there in Hollywood? I would assume. And they just let him out as a five-year-old? I he went to MGM? The foundlings <laughs> took <laughs> me in. The foundlings. With a coat hanger stuck out of his leg? Yeah. <laughs> Old coat hanger head. <laughs> <laughs> How does he know his mom? He's bobbing and weaving in that womb. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Whoa, almost got me. I don't remember when I was four, more or less, when I was in a womb. Yeah. Uh oh coat hanger. When she tried to abort me twice. Oh, All yeah. right, who pulled a rod on the heat? Beretta. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'm a mutation. That's, that's wonderful. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. We're... Don't do it. Remember that shit? I sort of. Oh, yeah. I sort of know it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert uh, thinks Piers is calling him a liar. Yeah. You want to get to the truth if you can. Does you can that mean I'm lying truth. to you? I don't know. Are you? <laughs> Commercial. What do you think? I don't know. I, I don't know. think we're going to get to some questions where... Well, tell me where I'm lying. Because if you don't know I'm telling you the truth, then you must have a little scratch in the back of your head about where I'm lying. Now tell me. No. Tell me where I'm lying. I'm not lying? saying you're lying. But you're saying you don't know if I'm telling the truth. What the hell is the difference? I'm saying I've met you for, what, 20 minutes? I don't care about that. You put me on the stand. I'm telling the I'm truth. And you you say stand. you're scratching the head. Why are you being so defensive? Because you just insulted me. I didn't insult you. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Nobody tells me I'm a liar. I didn't call you a liar. <laughs> you said shot. I might not be telling the truth. What the hell is the difference? I said I'm going to ask I don't want to take this any place special. All I want... Okay, let me say it this way. My skin is a little bit thin. Sure. Which is why I stay away from people mostly. I've never allowed anybody to ask me the questions that you're asking. Mm -hmm. I allowed you to do that because I trust you. And I would have assumed that you... And that guy in your ear would trust me. Now he's paranoid. And if you don't, then we better start talking about the little rascals. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this is want... great for Piers and for fucking Robert Blake. He'll, he'll sell some books based on this. because You want to read about a fucking mental patient like this. <laughs> well, Roland uh, came to me this morning and said, do you want Robert Blake? Yes. You think that could happen? If he made that happen, that'd be huge. That'd be awesome. I'll talk to little rascals with him. Yeah, and we'll I'll ask him if rascals. he's lying to me. What do you think this is all about? That he got away with murder and he just doesn't want to He's always been deal a, with it? a nutty fucking guy. True. Even during Beretta, uh, you, you listen to interviews with people that worked with him and say he was fucking crazy. Did well, it, wasn't this like did, your second or third wife, too? Yeah, was it, it? It was sort of like a fan or something, I remember. I don't know, that he ended up marrying. I, <laughs> we haven't thought about this in years, but what happened that day? Did they ever arrest anyone for that murder? No. OJ. You think it was a hit? OJ. Uh, it had to be. Come on. The guy fucking walks inside I to heard, get his gun. <laughs> and I, I heard he was miserable or something. There was something going on between those two. Yeah. yeah, but if it was a hit, why would he do it when he was anywhere near her? You know, he's not... I to mean, throw him off the scent. It's fucking Not perfect. everyone gets that perfect alibi where they go to fucking California while their condo's burning down. He, kn uh, <laughs> he knows that they're going to be at a certain place at a certain time because he's with her. He knows he's just got to take her out, right. leave his gun inside, right. say, oh, I got to get my gun. And okay, everyone okay. sees him go back in the perfect. restaurant to get the gun so he yeah. can't... He definitely didn't shoot her because he's his gun is inside. Okay, but... Okay, if you're going to be involved in something like this, why even carry a gun? Why wouldn't it be something? You know what I mean? Why even bring a gun into the pit? Oh, I left my gun inside. Because he, he always probably carries. always has his gun. Why would he do something different? Yeah, you, you don't do, do anything You do the different. same shit you would do on any other day. He That's the mistake his, you made. And who gun takes, flying to California. Listen, who takes their gun out, too, in a restaurant when they're eating? And That's true. Reason. Like, why would you do that? Why Unless he's on the gun? shitter. You know, if you go into the shitter, you got to pop your gun out and pop it up on a fucking, you know, toilet paper holder or something okay, like that. Okay, so here's the deal. So or maybe, maybe out of respect, it's the type of restaurant yet. where you, you, you yeah. kind of check your guns. You know what I mean? 
Maybe well, it's one of those you, type of joints. Popeyes. Old West. I don't know. Popeyes. But maybe that's something you do. I don't know. <laughs> the way uh, the way he told it in a clip that I didn't pull for you guys yeah. um, is that you know his wife was was a con artist and and there was a lot of a lot of people you know wanted her her dead or or wanted something mm-hmm. bad to happen but you know nobody could ever find her and he goes well you know and then she marries Robert Blake well where does Robert Blake live and mm-hmm. they just did it but that way. Rock taking a big shit. No, Eric's thinking. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> but with that said, she ended up conning Robert Blake yeah. into her life. Yes. And then yes, Robert Blake right. goes, Holy fuck, I've been conned. How the hell oh, am yeah. I getting out of this I've been thing? Conned. I'm, not, I'm not saying he didn't he didn't yeah. have anything to do with it. I'm saying that, that, no, that I was, know, that was but... his uh his explanation in a clip that I didn't pull because it was like whatever. Liar, not, liar, not pants crazy. on fire, Robert Blake. That's, That's what a, I say. Being called out for uh saying check your gun. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe there's a place like that. No, I, I, there's no check your gun, but there are places that don't allow guns. Right. You know? And, so, uh, all right, if they don't allow a gun and you have a gun, then what happens? Uh, you got to find somewhere to put your gun. Or when can you, go you check your gun? I don't think you could check <laughs> your, your gun. I think there's a liability problem. You could check your guns at, like, courthouses and things right. like that and precincts, but I don't think a private establishment is going to hook up a place where you can check your gun. The liability issues are uh, um, astounding at that point. I'm officially a dummy. Uh, no, it's just no. you know, there's certain things people know about. And, I'm officially uh, a dummy. Uh, well, why so then, why did? All right, so where was the gun then? He left it at. He his... might have left it either but, uh, at the at the table, which is ridiculous. But you're was res- it at the table? Well, that that's what it sounds like he's saying because they they were leaving. But that's crazy. And then he said, "Oh, I got to go get my gun." So that's why it's suspicious. And it. answer answer responsible gun owner. Okay, you're not you're not leaving your gun no, anywhere. No, never. You, that, how would you leave your gun in a restaurant? Of where the fuck it is at all times. So where was the gun in the restaurant? That had to come Might out have of the been court in the shitter. Case. If 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 no, it was in yeah. the. Sh- and then what are the odds that nobody else went in there? In the shitter after him. Might have been. Just... I think it was late. I, I don't know. All uh, I, I, believe me, I think the guy was involved. Okay, <laughs> believe yes, me. She was in the car, too, when she got shot, right? Wasn't I think she so, there? yeah. No, so, whether he was involved or not, the, the fact remains he definitely left his gun in the restaurant. Yeah, he did. And that's all I'm talking about right now. Hence my stupid uh, check the gun theory, because it sounds ridiculous, because I know Ant's you know, a responsible gun owner, and this shit just doesn't happen. You, how don't, about you don't fucking take your gun out in a restaurant. How about it fell out uh, onto the floor, he realized it was gone, went in to get it. But what did they say in the court case? It I had to come out. It had to. Like, it did he leave it out. in the shit, or did he leave it in, like, a, some kind of a booth in Where the restaurant? Where was his gun when he went in to get it? That's the question we need to know right now. Do some research, fucking pal talk people. Don't just stare at me. <laughs> Help us out. <laughs> Tweet me. I don't give a fuck. Jesus Christ. Anything. You lazy fuckers. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. I yeah. go to that restaurant a lot. They wouldn't care about walking in with a gun. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, some places uh, do. Some places no, I, don't. Obviously, we're moving past the check the gun theory, which was stupid on my part. I get it. But, well, there are, but there I want to know the real though. answer. Yeah. There are places, though. Uh, New York's a kind of uh, weird. It, there's almost a good part of New York being so f- much of a pain in the ass to carry a concealed weapon because uh, a lot of these open states that are very lenient. Is California open state? I don't even no, know. No, not really. California's kind of a pain in the ass. But like, okay. let's say Texas. Very easy to get a gun in Texas, Arizona, stuff like that. A lot of these establishments put up signs that say no guns on premises. Okay. And you're not allowed to go in there with your gun because everyone has a gun. In New York... You never see those signs because most of the people don't have guns and they don't have to put those signs up because, for the most part, no one's going to have a gun when they walk in these places unless they're, you know, bad right. guys. Gotcha. So uh, you almost work, it almost works out better that you could go into more places with your gun in a, a tougher state to get a gun in. See, now someone, uh, Kyle in Indiana says he checked his gun with his coat, and I really want to go to his phone call, but I think it's, it's more think it's abuse for me. <laughs> yes. I think it's going to be a joke. All right, let's hear <laughs> Kyle. Ah, he hung up. All right. Do we know he he left it in the booth, <clears throat> like that they were sitting in. He left it in the bo- oh, okay, a booth. Now that's different. I pictured some chairs around a table, but if it's a booth, it could have like My he maybe didn't want to sit down because sometimes a holster is uncomfortable. Right. So he might have taken it out sure. and and put it next to him. Well, wait, where it's, here's where it's weird. All right. Just- uh, after they left, Blake returned to the restaurant to retrieve his handgun, which he had left in the restaurant booth. He asked for water, and after drinking two glasses, he left again. <laughs> that ought to be long. After hearing bang, bang, yeah, yeah. he went outside. After drinking two glasses of water right before he's on his way home. We'll two see. glasses of water. Well, see, here's the deal. All right, if there's a hit set up, uh-huh. he's got a stall in the restaurant. He's got to leave the fucking scene. 
Right. Because he doesn't want to, you know, by accident see shit and then have no, to, have to d- go testify. through a lie detector test right. or whatever the fuck. So he's got to get him, he's got to get himself back in the restaurant. How do you do that in California? Because, you know, you're not going to forget a code or something because it's warm. And he can't forget what the car you... keys because he had to let her in. Right, right. right. So it's got to be something on wallet, your person. Could maybe be a wallet. A, maybe he went with the credit card thing, but at the last second, they're like, oh, here's your credit card, Mr. Blake. And he's God like, damn fuck. it. Now I got to ditch my gun. Now I got to get up <laughs> off this seat and leave my gun behind. <laughs> Yeah. He's got to get back in the restaurant so they could do what they're doing, and then he get, comes back out, and he's got the perfect alibi. Everyone saw that he went back into the restaurant. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. And that and restaurant water, you're not going to just have one cup because it's so good. Oh, you got to have two. <laughs> you got to have two. <laughs> Why would you sit there and have two glasses of water? Because you know that you don't want to walk out while she's being shot. That's yeah. what, thank you. Yes. That's why I'm bringing it up. Come that's, on. That's have you ever left planning. a... Have you ever left your girl in the car to have two glasses of two water? Two glasses of water. <laughs> why not just go to the bathroom? <laughs> right. Yeah. You might why? slam one. You might slam one. You're like, you know what? I need a glass of water. But I could do this in a couple of seconds. But you, you get another he, one? You got dry mouth from nerves because his wife is being shot outside. <laughs> and he's hoping no one, is, cotton mouth. no one is suspicious that he's sitting there drinking his water. Yeah. You know, you know take some time to open his crystal light, pour right. it in. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Are we allowed boy. to say we think he killed his wife? We could say what we you think. Have an opinion. That's just our that, that's opinion. That's my opinion. My opinion is he knew something. Yeah. He knew, yeah. like, yeah, uh, yeah. he didn't do it. I'll absolutely say he didn't do it physically, but I believe he knew the person that did it and was probably behind the reason. Yeah. That's my opinion. I could say that. Fuck it. Fuck all right. out. Well, here's the last clip from Piers Morgan, Robert Blake. When I did all that Facebook stuff, and then I went in the closet... And I found oh, two boxes okay. of pictures that I didn't know exist. They were full of rat <laughs> And I pulled all these pictures out, and I said, that's all me. And I said, what do I do with this? Somebody said, write a book. And I couldn't write a book because I'm not going to write six books. I'm only going to write one book. How do I put 75 years in one book? Well, you do it the way you just saw. There's four or five little chapters about the rascals. There's chapters about those rotten bastard cops. That ripped my guts out and left me beside the road to die. I'll get to you son of a bitches later, but don't think you're going to get off the hook. Oh, shit. I was supposed to die in that cell, wasn't I, you bastards? Well, I didn't die. And you didn't get your book deal, mothers. I wrote a book about you. So you'll have to go out and rip some other celebrity till he's dead. Then you can write a book about him. I'm sorry. I'm back. That's how... So the book became all of my life. The whole time he's saying that, by the way, he's looking at the camera and pointing. Right. Like wait, he's talking to the cops. Wait, the Hulk cop- Hogan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. His show was based on that, uh, on, on what's his name, Tong, or the guy that used to. Yes, that, I know the guy. Don't uh, look for help. Ex-cop or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, you got it. What, Beretta? Yeah, it was based on this uh, guy. Which guy? I thought his name Serpico? was Tong or no Serpico was the Tong uh, was Tong was Serpico was Al Pacino. Are you trying to say Tom uh, or is it really Tong? Uh, I don't know the guy's name. That's not, but I'm saying his show was based on that guy. What guy? The fucking guy in New York or California? I don't know. I don't know. I but never you heard know of this. Talking. Yeah, his show is based on. <laughs> do you know who I'm talking about? I do. No, you don't. I just don't want to help you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It is a guy, yeah. You know, is, is there a guy? Yep. Yeah. Uh, All those shows back then were based on something, I would yeah. guess. He, he was a motivational stuff. speaker that was an ex-cop. Beretta? Uh, that what was his real got name? sober. Uh, Beretta? Wait a minute. How long did Beretta run? Uh, those well, shows. no, they caught him right away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's fucking... <laughs> those shows didn't run that long, right? Usually? Um... I don't well, know. fucking, you know what? First of all, Robert Blake's wife is oh, crazy. 75 to 78? Yeah, there you go. Wow. Three years, four years. Oh. Uh, Robert Blake's wife is a crazy stalker before they got married. I think she was married a whole bunch of times. Yeah, kooky. And then he got had and went, holy fuck, this, she's not going to get the best of me. He oh, probably didn't know. Toma. Yes, Toma. All right, the show is a milder version of the successful 73-74 ABC series Toma, starring Tony Musante as a chameleon-like real-life New Jersey police officer, David Toma. I remember Toma, yeah. that show. I didn't like watching because the, 
the name of it just sounded like tumor. Yeah. <laughs> Toma. You remember that, though? Yeah, I kind of remember that. I was a little tater tot. But there was a real guy, though. Was there? Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know it was based on, like, Toma. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. See, I was close. What did I say? Uh, Tom? Tom? Listen, you're there stalling. You so you, you do a podcast with your wife. Are we done with Robert Blake, I guess? Yeah. That's some crazy shit. He is crazy. He's nuts. Well, I'm not a big fan of Pierce Morgan, either. Mm, we had him on. He was kind of cool, but yeah. But when he used to, I'm be, not digging on America's Got Talent. He would trash the comedians, going, "That's not funny. Go fuck yourself." Mm -hmm. You know what? What do you know what funny is? You know, he was always trash comics on, on America's Got Talent. If he said you, you know, were funny, you'd be like, no, "Oh my god, no, this guy knows funny." No, first of all, if he said I'm not funny. I'd go, "Thank you, because you're not my target audience, you oh. stuffy." Fucking uptight douchebag. Wow. All right, I'm down. Him. You told him. No, no, I didn't tell him. But well, oh. he's not on the. I, can, he's, I, I he, can't watch America's Got Talent. No, uh, I don't watch it. But I used to. See, I saw on. TV I used to watch clip. it. Dull I just can't watch it. It's kind of weird. It's, it's a weird show. It's dull. It's, it's it the is. Gong Show, really. It's what yeah, it is. It is the Gong Show. It's an updated version. I don't know why you. Nothing. What? Go ahead. Nothing. What? Not that I know. I'll say it later. What? What are you going to play? The podcast? What What happened? A little bit. Yeah, but what were we going to say later? Oh, go ahead. I'll tell you. I, I can't do it now. It'll ruin it. Ruin what? Too late. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Is oh, it, shit. Doesn't have something to do with the has got out. talent? You run the show? Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're not a podcast. Oh. No, I used to like the show, but they fucked up with the judges. <laughs> oh. Because Piers Morgan was the prick, and then they replace him with Howard, who was supposed to be the prick, but now he's a, like he's too nice. So it fucked up the whole like judging thing, and it makes it unwatchable. Mm. If Howard, I don't. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. There's no. There's yeah. no controversy. Not, there's no, no conflict. Because how the, thought he was going to be the mean guy. How the judge shows work. And you know you could say I'm jealous and all that, whatever. No. But this is this is the real thing here. The you get the one nice person. That's that's Sharon Osbourne. She's motherly. She nurtures them. She kind of knows how to how to tell them the bad news in a way that kind of you know it's cool. Then you get the comic who is ready with the jokes, and then you get the guy who's kind of the pricky guy. That's how those shows work. Mm. And I think they were expecting Howard to be the pricky guy, but he, Howard decided, oh, no, I, I, I need to show America that I'm actually a nice guy now. So it's weird to me. He's not been a dick to anybody? Not really. Oh. Not well, really. He's the it. one that gets up and goes on the stage. I've seen a couple, yes, but I haven't watched in weeks. And he get, he's the one that goes on stage and comforts them and hugs them and stuff. It's like, no, you were hired to be Piers Morgan or Simon Cowell. He's changing his... Uh... But he decided on the on the fly that I'm going to show America that yeah. I'm actually a nice guy because the rumor has been over the years that he actually is a nice guy when he's not doing his radio show. Yeah, but the difference Ooh. between Simon Cowell and Pierce, Mor and Pierce Morgan is Simon Cowell really does know music, and he did give good advice. Uh, Pierce Morgan just was trying to be a dick to be a dick what? to be a watered-down Simon Cowell. And he doesn't get comedy, you so know, that's he, why yeah, you had a problem you know. with him. Well, you don't say someone's not funny. You, you know who they're praising? Idiot. What's his name? Yeah, Tom, Tom uh, Carter. Tom he's Carter. an okay comic. Well, yeah, he's doing okay. Uh, you're, you're giving yeah. a thumbs down. No, I'm not. I like Tom. Uh, what, what are you uh, worried uh, about? Uh, uh, he's a friend of let's mine. Let's keep it real. I'm talking about Howard and keeping it real. You don't like Tom Carter. No, no, no. Don't say that. You Whoa, gave I did not. I went like that because there was something on my thumb, you these jackass. These comics are hilarious. Now, what's wrong with you? Why don't you say it? Because I like I, Tom. I don't want to have a I fake like conversation. If no, you don't like him, no, if you don't here's... think he's a great comic, say no, it. No, don't no, say no. he's okay and give me a thumbs no, down. No, I and, did not and don't do expect that. me to call you Fuck, out on I that. I didn't do that, you <laughs> snitch. I didn't do that, you fucking... <laughs> Listen, <laughs> this is what I'm, I did. But I, I have what to be I'm a snitch because it's not... Then we're not having a real conversation about it. You said he's okay and then you give me the thumbs down. No, 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 no. You don't think he deserves the attention. He's getting no, to be you're honest. wrong. Here's what I think. And he's I, a, can I give he's you a solid road comic, but I yes. don't think he's special either. No, no, and that's the no, point. I don't. They're I praising don't. him like he's the best comic in America. What it is, here's what it is. First, with Tom, I like him. I like his wife. He, he's been around for a long Forever. time. Forever. For a long time. And I have nothing against okay? the guy. And I, and I like seeing him get a fucking break. The dude has been busting his ass. Okay? He's not, listen, he's not Louis C.K. He's not fucking, he's not DePaulo. He's not our type of comedy. Okay? okay? But what he does, he does it well. Okay? That's all he does. Not saying... I like what he does, but what he does, he does well. Right. So, so I'm not saying he's bad. 
on a one to ten scale, he's a ten for what he does. He's not our brand of humor. He's not Norton. He's not Bobby. Right. He's not Billy. Okay, so America eats that shit up because one, he's doing it in ninety seconds. Right. Okay. Two, he's clean. Okay. I listen. I would never do that. Okay, no one you know that comes in here would do well, that. Well, no offense to Tom Cotter, but they, they're praising him on America's Got Talent as this amazing comic, and there's a million guys that are better than him, and a million guys that would right. love that attention on America's Got Talent. That's all You're I'm right. trying to say. Of course, of course. And it was but they're million. not being honest with that shit. And there's a million people on every show that's better than the winner. Okay, he's what they got. He's He fits the mold. He's white, he's clean cut, he wears a suit. It's it's easy. It's non-offendable. Right. Okay, so that's what they love. That's right. that's what the networks say. He's not a bad fucking dude, you know. Whatever. Yeah, I, I think he he seems like he's a nice guy and all yeah, that. I, I don't. He, my point is, I don't. You know, he's not that talented to get all that attention. Well, and you get a lot of exposure from that show, obviously. Even even though the ratings are way down. Name one of the comics that come in here. That could do that show within a minute. They would be, they would, they would, they would be like beep beep. Now the commercial. Well, you know? yeah. I mean, we 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 choose to go with uh, the edgier comics in general. So yeah, and and, right. re and comics that are more real. That's why you got rid of Babiglia. You know, you like comics. <laughs> <laughs> With you, I like Mike. <laughs> you don't like Mike. I like Mike, <laughs> and I'm not giving the thumbs down. It's, it's a commercial. I, I okay. do like the guy, huh? I like the. Oh, he's dysfunctional. He's got good <laughs> dysfunction. Like Mike <laughs> he's got dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> I liked him. <laughs> uh, you know, so we're I, big fans of Ralphie May too. I hope I I went out to dinner. Right I went out to dinner with yeah. Him. I went to dinner Ralph. with Ralphie a couple weeks ago. Right. Yeah, how was it? it was good. He took us to Nobi. Nobi? Broke? No B or oh. No Boo. No B. No B. No B. No, there was. No. We went to Nobi Juan Kenobi's. Well, but knowing Rich, how he has to get a fucking deal and everything, there's uh -huh. probably a ripoff joint called No, no, no He B. paid. It was No B. Just as Where the good. sushi's a couple days old. <laughs> no B <laughs> fresh fish here. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would work on America's Got Talent. Yes. And then no. Howard could say, I'm a good guy now, and he could hug you and all. Yeah, no, listen, Danny I'll... found the clip where he's, look, he's on his knees consoling. Oh, Pierce goodness. Morgan wasn't consoling anyone, and that's why the show worked. You had Sharon Osbourne for that. He's a little kid. Look at he's hugging but a little. But Pierce would never do that. I mean, uh, once a season, they would they would show him break down and be sort of a nice guy. But yeah. in general, his role was to be the prick and the Does tough Pierce guy. Does Pierce have kids? Howard has kids. Look at that little kid crying. Of course you have to console him Fuck and try to get his number. Look that's at it. No, oh, but that's why the other judges are there. So he's doing the, the role of the other guys. Yeah. That's right. what I'm saying. Okay, I, I get it. It wasn't and supposed I to be a it. long conversation. But you know what? It, but... I hope Tom wins. I really do. I'm friends with his wife. And uh, why are you winking? I did. We got something. <laughs> why are you winking? I can't do I see this a today. Down. I see a wink. I I'm can't seeing do everything. this. I, know, I can't have I a fake conversation. No, I am. If you don't want to talk about it, you should have said, you know what? I'd rather not talk about I don't about bash But don't say one thing and then give me all these fucking no, signals like you're a third base coach. No, first of all, maybe I'm trying to join a gang and I'm practicing. All right. Okay? All right. And I don't, I don't bash What was comics. the wink about? What was in your eye? There was, what was in my eye? Yeah. A fruit fly. A fruit fly. There was a fruit fly in my eye. <laughs> and I won't eat the Come on. I'm telling you, I don't. You've never heard I'm me bash comics. I not. really am not. But I, you know, he's good. He's, but you know, he is there's a reason he why is. He, he is what he is. He ha hasn't had hmm. a better career. Yeah. No, it, he's just a yeah. solid comic that gets a, a lot of work on the road. That's yeah, all. he is. And now all of a sudden, they're praising him like he's an, an amazing comic. Yeah. Comic on America's Got Talent, and, what he, and it doesn't match up. That's all I'm saying. And we can move on. Okay. Gary Goldman's funny. Well, okay. What does want, that have to do with anything? I wanted to plug my friend. I like Gary. He's, He's intense. His new, his new fucking CD. It's Brothers good? Fun. Yeah. We haven't had him on in a while. People clamoring for the blowjob audio. Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. What I'm happened sorry, there? Man. Well, it was supposed to be a little thing, and it turns out to be a thing because he's giving signals. <laughs> I can't do that anymore, the fake, the <laughs> fake shit. <laughs> you just fucking you're such a hypocrite. We love Ralphie. That was a joke. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, people are now going to be on Twitter and, and had the issue with Ralphie. I don't have an issue with Ralphie, but uh, but it's he was not representing like a personal the show. thing. He oh. it's a personal Ralphie. We stopped been having him on the nice. show because his laugh drove us nuts. We could oh. say it. Oh, okay, he would be like. Ah! 
<laughs> that is the. Re- ah! You're like, stop. That was the reason. Yeah. So now it's out there. He's a funny comic, but we couldn't handle the in the fucking microphone laugh. Oh, okay. There's a couple guys that did that uh, on our show, and it's just tough to do radio when. <laughs> The funniest, one of the funniest fucking things in radio. When but we, then R- Ralphie holds us up like the know, only reason we're yeah. still yeah. doing radio is because he yeah. saved our ass. He sort of saved our ass yeah. one day. Here's the thing. With, <laughs> but I think we would have uh, skated. I really do. One yeah. of the but I thank Ralphie yeah. for helping us out that day, okay? And hopefully we could have him back if we could have like a, a five-foot fucking barrier between yeah, him and yeah. the microphone. Yeah. And we need something that filters out that. <laughs> right. That's all it is. We Every like time. Him. I like the guy. Every I think he's time. hilarious. I really do. And th- there you go. Me being honest without thumbs down and winks well, and, then don't fucking and ass say, fucking. Don't say you're being honest. You go, we hope we can have him back. You know how you hope you can have him back? No, I, you, go, I, you go, let's have him back. You uh, make the decisions. Right. You Tarsha. called me out. Let's have him back. Um, there you go. All right, and tell I will him. tell him he's got to stay the fuck right, away from the microphone. What day? I have something to do. <laughs> you can, you can come hey, back it's a different story. <laughs> we are individuals on this show. I would have no problem having you Ralphie on the show. You can come back, show. Ralphie, but you can't use the mic. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. it's like you got to know how to use the mic, and you got to sometimes back off. And, I don't know, it's the most kind-hearted person on the planet. I like Ralphie. How's he doing? Huh? How's he doing? He's doing great. The fucking guy sells out theaters. Is he uh, losing weight? Keeping the weight off? He looked better. How about the podcast? How about it? It's, my it's going well. Me. We had a good one, the last one. I yeah. told you, I'm a fan. Thank you. I really am. I'm a couple episodes behind on my podcasting these days, but got a few to catch up on, and I, I heard uh, that Bonnie might have blew you. Uh, I don't know. We do so many podcasts. Oh, wouldn't remember that. I got that. the clip right here. Not the way she does it. Mm. And I, I hear uh, you're disgusted by the fact that she might want to blow you. And it comes across in the podcast. I think you kind of squealed and went, ew, when she suggested it. Is this true? I, I got it, people. I don't remember. I, I got people. You got people? I got people. They tell me things. Because <laughs> I haven't heard this yet, I swear. Uh, well, play it real quick and let me see if I can. it'll bring back memory. After these messages. Ah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Here, here it is from uh, the latest My Wife Hates Me. Yeah, it's just the new one that's on. Okay. No, we could another four or five minutes. Okay, so let's close. Oh, the beauty of Bonnie, and this is why I love uh, your podcast. She fucking hates doing it, and she's not faking it with thumbs down and all that. She really fucking hates it, and she always wants to just end it, and you're obsessed with making an hour every fucking time. Uh, I don't know uh, why. Sometimes, yeah, you throw a 50-minute out there. Who cares? It's an obsession with you. It, it, uh, is it? It's the because only... that's what you're hearing here. You need the setup. You hear Rich go, oh, "We got four or five minutes oh, left." God. Well, it's and we she's all... like, "Come on, let's just go." No one gives a fuck. Yeah. It's the only time we talk. <laughs> so that's that's what you're hearing here, right? That's... No, we could another four or five minutes. Okay, so let's close strong. Let's let me suck your cock right now. Ew! Come on. There's the ew what? I heard about. <laughs> so it is ew? true. Why would I say ew to a blowjob? Uh, why? why would I say ew to a blowjob? Yes, why? Because if it's going to happen or doesn't happen. What makes an ew blowjob? I need mm, to know. Yeah. That she would say that on the air that my wife, who I love and I cherish and I and I look out for, would go, yeah, I'll blow you on the air. That's it's what made not, you go ew? It's not television. Not, not the physical act? No, and it was light out. <laughs> <laughs> You are old school. <laughs> you need all lights off, huh? <laughs> so I don't have to look at her. No, she does. she cheats when she blows. Yeah, two hands and fuck. You know what? You know, fucking get into it. I paid a mortgage, bitch. Use some fucking face. Oh, but she's your wife, and you don't want. Oh no, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, <that>. yeah, <laughs> you're just so disrespecting her. Uh-huh. <laughs> you want her to gag a little bit, right? That couldn't happen with me. <laughs> Yes. No, we could another four or five minutes. Okay, so let's close strong. Let's let me suck your cock right now. Ew! Come on. It's hot the way you want to give it. me head? Yeah, I'll give you head right now. Are on you the kidding me? What if somebody was listening, like your family? There, that's that won't happen. That won't ever happen. Oh, that okay? You can do that. What if they played this on O and A though? Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's smart. Oh boy, she sure does She's, know things. She's smart. <laughs> that won't ever happen. Oh, that okay? You can do that. What if they played this on O and A though? Go ahead. Because then, if they play them on O and A, no, no, no. Yeah, no. Come on. Let's see. Look, I'm pulling it out. Oh. Now, hey, look, we're, we're playing it. Yeah, it's out. 
Oh, look at that. You know, oh, look honestly. at that. This is like porn. This is porn on the mic. Here, I'm, I'm, go ahead. Okay, look. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Are you crazy? Oh, my God. She's doing this on the mic. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's, that's it. That's it? Oh. All right. So, wow. if you stuck around for that. <laughs> That's just kidding. We're just kidding. It didn't really happen. Ah. It didn't really happen. I know. Relax. No one thinks it happened. What am I, Chloe Sevigny? Who's that? I oh, think she, she did blew. gave somebody head in a movie yeah. once for real. Chloe Who? Sevigny? Who's, what do you mean? Is that how you say it? A porno? Know. Apparently not. No. It's just that like uh, brown bunny movie or something? Chloe who? Sevigny. What are you picking out of your tongue? Nothing. Ah. <laughs> You're joking. He's, we're joking AIDS. around yeah. everybody. Eggs. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, she really blew you. No, didn't you hear me? No, nah, she's, she's 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 blowing the mic. She oh. thought it was funny to just put her, your dick in her mouth for a little bit. All right, we'll make believe for this one. Suck around a little bit, pick some fucking. I would call down the, the curly Jew hairs off her tongue. <laughs> no, they were no. She's a good actress. Dried up blood. <laughs> she's a great actress. She is a good really actress. Really good. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, yep. that, po that, that was a good podcast. The last two podcasts, the one where she uh, called Adam Carolla out on a, a, on a joke off. <laughs> After Adam said women aren't funny. She right. agrees with him, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah? Well, she loves, he's funny. He's a funny dude. Yeah. We were watching the show last night called uh, co Stiletto, Comics and Stilettos. All girl comics, but they have to wear stilettos. Oh, boy. Uh, it's on TV Guide Channel. First of all, and, and this is what Bonnie said, isn't TV Guide Channel supposed to tell you what's on other the channels? The TV Guide, yeah, oh, yeah They yeah, gave yeah. up on that a yeah. long time. Yeah, 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 they did. They had so, to to survive because no one needs that anymore. But we're watching a show with the female com It is unfucking watchable Who are the comics? And, dude, it, it, there's three new ones every week. Bods. Paula Bell was funny. Paula Bell was fucking funny. She's, I don't know if you know yeah. her. But we're watching these comics, and it's you. This is so you can tell it's a paid audience. There's like twenty yeah. people. You got to watch this. It is so cringe worthy, and people go. That's why they're going to go female stink because the shows like this. Right. They make them wear. Oh, our catches. They wear stilettos. Right. You know, and guys would never do that. A guy there would never be a high comedy show. You know. Uh. You know, tux comedy or tux. You know what I well, mean? Well, that sounds good. When you pitch that. <laughs> yeah. Guys, but it, it, it's, it's on comedy on TV is so fucking bad now. Yeah, you know, and and Cotter's great though. Who is Cotter? He's killing on America's Got Talent. Killing. I watched a clip yesterday. That's why you bring it up. Uh, by the way, uh, oh, why was that face? Oh, because I got to the bathroom so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. I'm squirming. Uh, I'm gonna... By the way, to be fair, uh, by the way. This guy writes, Howard is very tough on the live shows. Check it out. Well, fair enough. And this guy says, uh, where is he? Uh, uh, Ryan Kenward writes, I think you're great, but the Howard hating is petty. Just You just said AGT's ratings are down. Not true. Rated one almost every week. I think they're down from last year. It could though. still be rated one, but the ratings but, are down from where they were. I don't even care. Yeah, but if that's being petty... All right, you weren't being that that time. You weren't being. No, I used to you. like the show. Yeah, I don't watch anymore. You know, if it was anybody, is it, is it because I'm obsessed with Howard? Maybe I don't know, but I just I tried it and I just couldn't uh, get into it like I did in the past years. That's all. That's all I'm trying to say. Because I tried. Because I really do like the show. Uh -huh. It's it's dumb enough where, you know, I, I don't mind watching it. <laughs> well, anyhow, this weekend I'm at Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant, and our podcast is My Wife Hates Me, and this is uh, I'm not my CD. I was nominated for a Grammy. You got to get this fucking CD. Really? Uh, still, yes. Yeah, still empty inside. Wow. It's, it's, what if that happens? I don't know, but it's who one. Are, who are you up against? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, like some a couple alternative comedy team and <clears throat> Weird Al and whatever. Uh, but it, it's fucking my best. It's uh, still empty inside on iTunes. I promise you, you'll love it. Promise you, you'll like it. So. Uh, well, you're not giving a that. thumbs down or making believe you're choking, so no, you might be telling the truth right now. Yeah, no, it's nominated for a Grammy, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, still empty, and, and that's still empty, and, <laughs> and, and, our, and our podcast, and Uncle Vinny's. That's all I got. You know, you're like a runaway car. <laughs> <laughs>
You've lost your brakes. <laughs> You're going down a hill. I, you don't know how bad I <laughs> What the fuck happens? I, I, <laughs> I kind of lose it. The Klonopin wears off by now. Do you take no. a pill to come in here now? No. There have been times when I've had anxiety. Yeah. No, you, you were great. Like, today was fine. I had a good time. And I'm not going to say you were great today. I, I love doing radio with, with Rich you. Voss. It, you know. He'll, been, he'll obsess and say, oh, I yeah. wasn't that good today, but the first yeah. hour I was really good, but oh, the second God. hour wasn't so good, but for, then I finished strong. I wasn't here. I haven't been here for a couple of months. I, no, I, I always like uh, when Voss is on, no matter what happens. Well, you know, it, it's it's a pleasure to come in and, and be amongst pals and good radio, because you right. do so much bad radio around the country. Well, so do we. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> And there's good radio, too. And it is around the country. Sure. There's, there's, it is there's right. great radio. And, there's, and you know, you have good comics, you have bad comics. Not a lot of good radio Did you guys there, see huh? my great uh, appearance on Red Eye the other night? Um, Two nights ago? I heard it was horrendous. I Get heard. the fuck out of here. It was oh, good. Oh, shit. I heard, it was... I heard my, mine last night was a fucking amazing. Yeah, mine was good. Oh, I it was ruled. Good. It wasn't... So why didn't we play the audio of your appearance, eh? I don't know. I don't... I, you know what? It's topical shit. We should, so, we should get a clip at I'm least. I'm so good. You could just grab any clip. It's, uh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It's... Are you funny or political? I'm very funny. I think. And political, no? <laughs> no, no, I'm... I'm a, yeah, I, I like I like doing it with a little uh, fun though. I yeah. like just sitting there pontificating about. Uh, is it politics. exhausting to be so damn good? It really is. Yeah. I, oh, they send you the subjects and you got to kind of you know write a few. What things. were your subjects last night? It's like, uh, well, there was. Um, let's. Yeah, say, how to do the Romney at the uh, NAACP thing? No, they were talking about how Romney uh, is behind Obama with single women. Right. So you know, do a little bit on that and. Ah, uh, how Obama uses uh, used I and me a lot in the speeches. You know, they just single, some political single shit. women. So that was single. So you went with the racist angle yeah. there, right? Well, of course. <laughs> no, okay. I, I don't. No, mind. I went with the dumb broad angle, thinking they have a shot with Obama, like oh, voting God, for you him. Think that happens? Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's that's it's a God. technical thing. It's like, oh, he's he's sexier. Yeah. You know what? Here's the thing that people uh, we see who's. President now we have a Afro American president. Afro American. So you people, are nineteen sixty. Well, yeah, people, I don't know if that's proper. Pe oh, oh, well, people a president go, of color. I think is okay. People the will latest say, one that it's okay, and then they'll tell us that one's not okay. Right. People will say, "Hey, how is a, a Mormon ever going to be elected?" I've never in my life said, "Honey, Mormons move next door. Let's put in a security system." Okay, <laughs> yeah, all right. I've good. never said to my kids, "You better never go out with a Mormon." Point you know? taken. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So don't use because he's a Mormon, he won't be elected. Yeah, yeah. And people vote now. Uh, it's not what he says I in every speech. It's yeah. what he says after it. It's, you know, it's I can't believe you're falling for this bullshit. <laughs> okay. Here's what I wanted to ask yes. you. And and this is serious because I, right. and I, I'm a little, I, I little to the right, some to the left on some issues. I pay 20000 a year in health insurance. I pay 20000 mm Mm-hmm. That's about Why right. is it bad? Why should we not have health care? I don't understand the You're good and bad points. You're still going to pay 20000 doesn't matter. You're still going to pay How it. How am I going to pay 20000 on... Because this isn't giving people health care. It's making people get health care. And, and on this, this isn't giving people free health care, this whole fucking thing. Everybody's under the impression that this Obama thing is giving people health care. It's not. It's making it that you now have to get health care. Thank you. Well, then they're, then they're saying that then the insurance companies have to drop their prices. Do they? They're well, not going to drop if, their if, prices. If they regulate it. If, if. When. So, well, then how is the whole is the whole country being tricked thinking they're getting free health care? I think a lot of people think this Obamacare thing means free health care. And it doesn't. They, they don't know. People are dumb motherfuckers. And when they hear shit like this, Obama wants to give every American health care insurance. It's like, no. He wants us all to have health care insurance. And if you don't... Then the IRS is going to come knocking at your door for your so, fucking uh, tax money. A lot of people were yelling on Twitter after that, Ant, saying it's not the IRS. They're full of shit. It is the IRS. I just want to bring it up, though. The IRS more is in few. charge of collecting these penalties slash taxes. Yeah. The IRS is buried so deep in this Obamacare thing, that, uh, they, and they shouldn't be. The Internal Revenue Service has no business being in uh, your health care business. Hmm. Okay, but you're saying... Okay, so I guess I am ignorant. Just, so mm. you're saying that no one's getting free health care out of this? No. This isn't? No. There might be some people getting affordable health care down the line.
but you're still going to pay $20,000. You think your fucking health care insurance is going to go down? It might if you get shittier insurance. But, uh, you know, it's like car insurance. Same thing. You could get car insurance and wrap your car around a tree and you're totally covered. Yeah. Or you could have car insurance that's kind of shitty and your deductible's a lot and your coverage is less and it's not going to pay for the entire fucking thing. That's what it's all about. But now you legally have to have insurance. Do you know fucking the other day I'm sitting at the blackjack table. The fucking dealer draws an ace. They say insurance. Now I had to buy it. Or else they penalize me some of my chips <laughs> under the new Obama plan. <laughs> Doesn't that suck? I'm down. Sucked. See, so, yeah. how did you do at the casino? Uh, I made five grand. I was playing was internet great. craps just on my phone. Oh my god! I'm down ten million dollars. Ten million. <laughs> <laughs> You're ten million I, dollars. Don't go was, back to that gambling. I was Throwing. playing wow. last night in bed. That's the and start. I, right I crapped there. out so many times. I bit my arm. I was so pissed off. That's wow. a dumb app game. Jimmy thing, biting the arm. I taught him that. He doesn't bite his arm. <laughs> oh, That's my fucking release when you get. Is it? Because I know he does it, too. I used to bite right here in between the bicep and my shoulder muscle. Right here. I stopped, though. Really hard, too. I'd bite the head of my dick. <laughs> oh, you could do that. <laughs> I wish. I mean, you'd, you'd watch me for four hours sucking my own cock. Whoa. Here's a joke we never heard. You wouldn't leave the house, would you? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said from... I wouldn't leave work. <laughs> Just suck my dick. I'm with Ann on the, on the Obamacare. What? Yeah, the healthcare not... system is fucked up in this country, but the way they're going about it, I don't agree with at all. It's just forcing people to buy yeah. health insurance, which, you but know, But it is whatever. fucked up. Why don't they just start regulating the insurance companies and stop them from oh, raping why everybody? why would they go after those guys? And That's stop... stupid, Rich Voss. They ought because, to open it up Because where... they're fucking sending more fucking that money, more campaign contributions, uh, duh. and their fucking uh, duh. strong lobby is, you know, it's they're so 20000 a year in health... 20000 a year, that means you have to make thirty to pay twenty. It's insane oh. that you have to pay 20000 a year for health insurance It's in fucking America. insane. Okay? Period. And that's just for me, myself, my wife, yeah, and, and the kid. I, you know, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. You guys don't get health insurance through your company? No! Not no. from here. We're like, we're, we're our own entities. Yeah, so, so we have so to we get, get it all ourselves. Yeah, so we get yeah. hammered out. We got to get our own health insurance. So do you buy your employees sell health insurance? They do you bang guys? us out. They I bang got, us out. I got employees, and I got to take care of their health insurance, too, yeah. Or you're going to be um, penalized if you don't. Mine's over 2000 a month, easy. But then it's, how about this? I'm about 20 How do you just pay the penalty? If you, if well, insurance, no, you, you want to have insurance. What happens but how you, about this? You do. But let's say you run a company. You run a fucking organization, and you have to buy your employees, or you have to uh, make available to your employees health insurance. Uh, how about you just pay the penalty and don't fucking insure your, your people? All right, fuck it. I'm not offering health insurance to my employees right. anymore because uh, they could go fuck themselves. I'll just pay the penalty right. every year because it's cheaper. Huh. How about that? Huh? It depends what the penalty I, is. I pay about thirty thousand a year. I just did the math in my head. Wasn't Walmart That's taking crazy. insurance policies out on their employees? Were they? That's pretty smart. Yeah, yeah they, they were. Pretty they, good. I think I'm asking. I'm not accusing. I don't know. I think. Um, how do you do that? How do you take insurance out on people that like aren't related? Aren't to related. You. Now I've heard of no, this, but he, it's like, how does that fucking yeah, work? He, yeah, there was something going on. Some kind of legal so scam they figured out. out. I know. Remember when Eatman took out fucking insurance policies on both of us? Yeah. Just in case, you know, yeah, anything well, happens, well, he, he just still did get his on payday. OP to make you feel good. I think, it, <laughs> I think it's, something, it's something called uh, vested interest. Oh, is it? Yeah. I uh, briefly was in insurance. I, I vaguely remember this. But you're, as long as you could prove that in some way you have vested interest to insure the, insur the insured, mm. then it's perfectly legal. I, I watch. Uh, I have a favorite baseball team. I have invested interest. So on you that. have to. If that person disappeared, you would have to prove that there would be some kind of loss. Yeah, that you something would have. like that. Right. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we should go home. I think and think about all this stuff. Yeah, I have a vested interest in a nap. Yeah. Right about now. And then I gotta fucking go to a rock star. We gotta do. Are a you show on a rock star? Yeah, I gotta record some uh, a song for uh, uh, some yeah. uh, game. Let's just say and um, uh, some voices. And then uh, we're hitting the rooftop, and I'm, we're going to go to a barbecue, and we're going to play some fucking uh, games with some people. I'm invited, but uh, i got to bring my kid. I don't oh, have a babysitter shit. today. What's the rooftop? Laszlo's oh, on the phone. Laszlo. The the kids, are, kids are welcome at Rockstar Games. No, you said nice. that. Hold on. You said that in a text yesterday, and I really appreciate that, but then I felt like, yeah, he's just being nice. Listen, nothing could go wrong with a... How old is your child? Two. 
too. Nothing could, could go wrong uh, on a rooftop in New York City with a bunch of drunk people so, playing video games. All right, so I'm not going. <laughs> you invited me, and I knew it was just a nice invite because I, I told them I, I don't think I could find a babysitter. So I, I, I'm, I'm out. No, come be on. Be honest. You got to come by. This barbecue, Fat Bobby Kelly's going to be eating barbecue. Come on, this is fucking classic. Is that, I got to bring my kid. It's going to be fun. This what? is one of those days I, I, I can't find anybody. Lasso, was a character in one of your games based on Bonnie? Didn't no. Know Bonnie? Come on, tell the truth. It doesn't matter. Bonnie McFarlane was yes. in uh, Red and Dead. Yeah. But it's just the name. Yeah, I, I didn't name that character. And oh. the person that did, did name that character uh, has no idea who your wife is. Neither do I. But the back end of every horse yeah. in the game is named Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> Horse's ass. He didn't even get it. Come on, Rich, Come on, please. Rich. You're quick. Oh, please, Rich, I, I you mean, quit. It, wasn't, you're quick. it wasn't bad. It wasn't no, bad. it wasn't good. And Anthony was the basis for Gay Tony. Nobody right, Gay that. Tony. That was me. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, hey, hey la is it okay if I get there at 1 instead of 1230? Well, no, because we've got a bunch of stuff to record. Oh, okay. And I'm recording. Can you come at, can you come at noon? Um, no, what do you good. have to do? You work four hours a day. <laughs> He's got to sleep. All right, he's on to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, oh boy, because we got this stupid. Do we have a meeting today? Yeah, we kind of do. Fuck! We got some meeting with the um, the yeah. Should we run for the elevators? <laughs> yeah, we got we got some kind of meeting today. Yeah, we got. And then I got to go back to my apartment. Yeah. Um, and you got to clean out your fridge. I got to clean out the fridge. Look how I brought it. Right dump back the beer around. bottles. Uh, is that the apartment that you are now allowed back into? Yes, I have custody of my apartment again. Yeah, Thank God. I, Holy I've shit. I've never seen somebody lose so much shit over crazy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Well, you lost your apartment? No, I, well, you she mean, had it for a while. Every time Aunt, I throw her out of the house. Every time Ant breaks but, up with someone, he loses a lot. Yeah. You, know you don't have to be married to Ant. <laughs> you lose it's amazing. Cars, couches, oh, apartments. All those nights you spent with her on her homework out the fucking window. No. It was the 28-year-old model. Shut up. She was 28? Yeah. She was very pretty. I'm, I'm not, not going to deny lie. that. I'm not going to lie. What am I going to do? Bash her and say, no, no, of course she was. And, then and when you're dealing with somebody that pretty, you got to deal with insanity. <laughs> you know that. On certain levels, you're right. It doesn't, it, everything it, is on a scale. Everything's yeah, on a moving is. scale. <laughs> moving the scale. prettier it is, I'll allow them a little lunacy, but there is a red line to the nut, to the nut jobness that I'm going to put up with, no matter how bright blue those eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You are. All right, listen, Laszlo, you also said that I'm going to be recording voices, but was that just being polite? No, it's not. I, and, I'm digging up a character for you. And I don't have to yell, right? Yes. See, that's all I get. I'm I'm one of those. Uh, what do they call them there? The uh, uh, typecast. I'm not being typecast. What do you the think yelling you are, guy. Fucking Mr. Spock. Well, I, I expect something in between. I don't want to be a one-trick pony for rock star. But the games that we make, you run around and shoot people rather than the old west. They're gonna yell. Day. Do you think that's all I do for rock stars? Yell. Laszlo, I like to yell. Do you have any characters with? Danny a, will do my part. Do you have any characters with a speech impediment? <laughs> they, they, they can't say S H's or C H's. <laughs> Rich Voss. That would be hilarious. That would mispronouncing be. words. Laszlo, is this party open to the public? No, this is O and A crew only. Yes, uh, but you're calling to promote it. Well, it's because we're going to be streaming it live online, so people can play online in Max Payne against Bob Kelly and Danny and Anthony and everybody. Yeah, yeah you cool. can play online with us. It'd be great. We can play online, but we've also have at RockstarGames.com. You can watch a live uh, feed of of, of all uh, of us getting Bobby. our asses kicked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and exactly. Bobby feeding his face with barbecue. Oh, oh, nice. nice. I have a question for you, Lester, because I don't know a lot about games. I don't play them. But is Rockstar like competitors or like GameFly, or are you guys connected? Oh, <laughs> oh my, oh, my God! God. Yeah. Rockstar, no, that's oh. a very good question. That's Rockstar, like... what we do is uh, we we mail out games in envelopes. We're like, we're like <laughs> I, like I don't know. I don't know anything. Do you know what game? Gamefly is? And no, you know what I, Rockstar is? I know if you go to uh, That's my like wife hates me slash Gamefly. There is, there is definitely an analogy to be made there. It's like saying oh, uh, Atlantic Records is like... Uh, BMG Music Service. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> like uh, like uh, fucking, yeah, the actual record company is like that Columbia House record okay, yeah, deal. There you go. Where you would, you would send a penny and get ten albums. You're comparing that to the actual record company that puts out the albums. Yeah, yeah they're making oh. the albums. They make the games. They're making okay. the games. Oh, and, and the other game company so that so. make the whole yeah, world. Yeah. yeah, they do. Oh, okay. okay. that you don't have your own show, considering this amazing grasp of the entertainment industry. <laughs> 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 well, 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 First of all, let me tell you something, Game Boy. I don't oh, play oh, games. Oh, 
Whoa. I don't play That's games. That's Nintendo. I don't play games, <laughs> so I don't fucking know, okay? If you ask me questions about comedy, I'll give you the answer. Well, or about you, making, a making a but documentary. But why don't you have general knowledge? Because I don't play him, so uh, I don't who's just that? Is he like Corporal Smart? Look, don't try to team up because he's giving you a no, fucking cameo no, in his you, dumb game. You lose on this one. Why? I don't know. Because sometimes you just need general knowledge. You don't have to be an expert on stuff. But okay. just not knowing that Gamefly and Rockstar are not even close but to But if I've never went to e thing. either site or bought a game you, in you my just life. Know, but you brought like, up Gamefly, so you knew something about it. What, what did, did I'm calling you them that I'm getting? I'm, I'm at, you what, did you, they're, they're, what did you think Gamefly did? I think Gamefly sells games. That's what it says in our podcast when we're when we're doing. Oh our, my god! It even does a live read. Yeah, All right, so yeah. you know what GameFly is? They sell games. Yes. So then, why would you think <laughs> Rockstar also exactly. sells games and and aren't actually the ones creating them? Well, who? Uh, they could be a company that fucking. I don't know. If you know anything about pop culture and what's new, Rockstar yeah. has put out some of the most popular games in history. I couldn't tell you what one of the games are. How about, you Grand should, Theft, how about Grand Theft Auto? But you yeah, should, I, I, GTA? You know what? I had Grand Theft Auto. See? I had it in the beginning, and I couldn't get over the first wall, so I never played it. <laughs> I didn't know how to get over the first wall. <laughs> Same thing with your people back in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't... Uh, this has nothing to do... It's just general okay. knowledge, though. No, it's not general knowledge. Rockstar's been around long enough, and have, they've made monster games that you would just know. You don't have to play them. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I know the games. I know all the controversy that hits. Uh, you know, all right, the media I'm sorry, and all I'm that. not in the entertainment. They've been, I mean, I might be wrong, but I think you should just know some of that shit. They've been okay. a, a fairly popular company since like 2000. Like, yeah. I mean, GTA 2 was Huge. a big deal. Huge. For a lot of people, I mean, it was yeah. a game changer. Huge. Uh, Huge. 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 All right, I'm sorry. I'll do more fucking research. You should. Sorry, I asked a dumb question. I'm not in the entertainment business. Your kids don't aren't into gaming. They don't play video games. I don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> and Sheldon Mack writes, Hope you're smarter than this. You have kids to teach now. Read what the Affordable Care Act is and stop listening to Ant. You know what, Shelda? You're always giving me shit on Twitter. Oh, you know Shelda? Yeah, we'll get into our arguments and, and shit. Um, she's a proud ebony uh, princess. Shelda! I'm a, I'm a fucking racist. <laughs> so it's like the That's odd your couple. first problem. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, she, she likes to twist things around. Uh, to uh, best reflect her opinion, and I do the same for mine. But um, this affordable health care thing, what I'm saying is Rich Voss is still going to be paying $20,000 a year for health insurance. So stop it. This isn't, this isn't everyone gets free health care, dummies. This isn't socialized medicine. Mm -hmm. with, you know, thank God. Why are they trying to pass it off, is it? They're trying to because fucking hoodwink everybody. For the same reason that a lot of people voted for Obama under this guise that uh, uh, they were going to get free everything. Yeah. Free rent, free food, free fucking cars. Uh, you know, uh, people in the African-American community really thought it was going to be a, a, a free ride after Obama got elected. And I honestly think there's a lot of disillusioned people and a lot of people that voted for Obama in the first place because they wanted to see the first black president. And I don't think yeah. a lot of these people are going to come out and vote in numbers like they did the first time around. Well, black people are going to support him because look, at just like you, if an Italian guy, there's oh, never been sure. an Italian president. What does this have to do with Laszlo's barbecue? <laughs> I don't have to yeah, vote for a goddamn <laughs> Is Max, is Max <laughs> Payne a liberal? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Max, Max, Max Payne. Payne pops pills and shoots people in the face. Is exactly. his gun's legal? Max his gun's Payne. legal? Not all of them. No. No. Oh, boy. Okay. Hey, pain. guys, do you know what time it is? Time to go home. Bullet time. Yeah, oh, shit. There it is. That's how I'm going to leave this. You, you know what bullet time is, Rich? That's how we're going to leave the studio today. <laughs> Got to leave in slow motion. Do it. You go first. <laughs> uh, uh, he's going. That's All your right. slow motion. I like it. I'm so I'm so upset. This is the radio. I know. <laughs> Perfect. I should tape this. I'm getting out of here and I'm going to tailgaters. But make believe you got shot tonight. and you're oh. like this backwards toward the door, mm. like oh fuck. tailgators in Pennsylvania. Rich Voss tonight. Where? Tonight, tailgaters. Where is Pennsylvania. it? Pennsylvania? Oh, Somewhere. Nice. Just spilled water all over here. Slow motion. It's bullet time. <laughs> Wait, tailgaders, your career is so bad tonight. you're performing in a parking lot now. Oh. Oh, my career is very well. Hold on. Boom! All right. See, that's why that. these fucking audience I deserve members that. Go I deserve that. Oh. No, uh, wrong. Oh. I you praise gave that to you and your comedy. Uh, that was just a dumb little CD's show. up for a Grammy. Still empty inside. And Uncle Vinny's when? Friday and Saturday with Bob Levy. Laszlo, kid or no kid, be honest. Sorry about that. Come by with the kid. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Now you're in. In case you run out I'm of I'm the only food, one with a kid so there today, right? Well, there's other people that bring their kids. <laughs> 
Um, Not to the party, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Laszlo knows how to throw a party, too, oh, man. Yeah. Please. All right, we'll see you over there. Right. we got to go, Laszlo. Thank you, Later, sir. Later, everybody. Uh, Voss, thank you. Rich Voss on Twitter, too. Thank you. Stupid games. Fuck them. And Bonnie's really good, too, on Twitter. What's Stupid her... Uh, fuck at, at, at Bonnie McFarlane or something. I'm at Rich Voss. <laughs> Cocksucker at... What? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you don't even want to promote your wife's Twitter. That's rich. It's at Bonnie McFarlane. She's in the top, like, 16 female Twitters in New York. Fucking the, the main guy on Twitter, Delaney, friended her or something. Who's that? You Some guy. He's like about? one of the beginners. Like, one are of you the still beginners on the air? Twitter? Huh? No, no. He... Oh, we're not? No. I was just asking you. Why? Who's yeah. that guy? Uh, Rob Delaney. He's like one of these. And why would you do that shit with Tom Cotter? You know you don't like him. No, here's the thing. His comedy oh. is horrific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched his set last night. Yeah. And Bonnie go, this is fucking hard. But, the fact but you don't want to say it on the air. I don't want to Why comics, wouldn't you? Because I no, don't I understand. Money out of their you guys never fucking... You guys are always trying to kiss ass on the comics. Not kiss ass. I don't want to, ban- I don't want to take work from somebody. Because it's hard. How are you how, taking how work from him? He's on a he's on a network show. You're not taking work yeah. from him. Yeah, and you're like, oh, they're, they're going to go, well, Rich Voss doesn't I'll no, find him funny, so let's not book him. I don't want to... I mean, come on, really. Think about it. Oh, you're still on the no, air. no, we're not on the air. Why are you so paranoid? We're not on the air. You are. I think he's funny. <laughs>